today. So I'm so excited because everybody, this is Artist Hustle TV. I'm so excited that you guys are on. I am live on Instagram and I'm also live on YouTube tonight. So everybody drop in your names, your cities, everything, because I want to talk to you guys about what you guys have going on. And tonight, I want to talk about growing your following up to 10,000. Remember, we're talking about Instagram and social media all month long. And I took a, a poll the other day on our Instagram and more than half of the, actually, I think like 75%, honestly, of the audience was saying, yeah, I don't, I think there was only like 1% or maybe like 20% that actually had more than 10,000 um, followers. So I said, you know what? We're talking about growth hacks, right? And make sure everybody that's coming in, say hello don't be shy. Please don't be, you know, just lurking and looking and say what's up. Okay. Say what's up. Like the video. Come in. We're, we're talking about social media tonight. I'm so excited. So please, I'm looking at both chats. Um, Q and a session will start later once I'm done with the, the actual content, but a lot of people over, over 80% of the people said, I don't have 10,000. So I said, you know what? Hey, Julian. Hey, KK. Hey, um, you to me, is it you to me? You know, I mess up people's names. So if I mess up your name, don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. Um, today is actually besides Q and a Friday today, I'm not taking any requests to join live sweetheart. So I won't be able to do that. Today is international women's day. And I've been getting a lot of really nice messages and, you know, people are saying thank you for everything you've been doing. So thank you for anybody that sent me messages and you know, different things like that, because, um, you know, we women, we work hard. We definitely work hard. So um, shout out to all the women um, who are doing business or just moms, wives, you know, like I told you guys before, Artist Hustle is my baby. So I'm giving birth and you guys are enjoying this product. So um, let's just jump right into it because I want to make sure that we have more than enough time for Q&A. Friday. So let's jump into it because it's so important for you guys to understand certain things. So let me scoot this over because I have my notes and I want to make sure I can see it on my laptop. Okay. Getting to 10,000 followers on Instagram, we're going to be talking about all these different types of tips. Okay. So let's jump into it. First of all, if you have, you have an Instagram account, you need to have a clear logo page style ideal and niche and post stories often. I'm going to say that again. Have a clear logo, page style, idea, and your niche. And then you need to be posting inside of stories on a daily basis. Because if you're not doing this, this doesn't make any sense why you wouldn't be growing to 10,000 or more. Now, some people, they only, they want to grow to, I don't know. But I'm just saying, if this is what you want to do, then you definitely want to go ahead and do that. Everything needs to be clear. I always tell people on the social media reviews, which we're doing in March, um, it's the 22nd. So I'm going to give out that link as well. You have to have either a logo or a really nice photo of yourself. Okay. It has to be clear. Nothing, you know, looking crazy. Now, the other thing is you want to have a very a theme with your page. And I keep talking about this because it's really important. The people that have the most biggest followings, they have a theme. They have appealing visuals that go with the content that they're sharing. So you want to figure out what your theme is. Like Artist Hustle, our theme is, it's our three colors. It's actually our brand colors. It's black, white, and red. Okay. Black, white, and red. So what I do on our Instagram, and it's really consistent. Now I just came up with this new look maybe a year ago, no, mm, less than a year ago. Well, we'll see, whatever. But if you stroll through my feed before, it was just a hot mess. There was no consistency there. Now we know we're going to post white post and then black post, then white post, then black post, then white post. So the background is the it is very consistent. So when you look at it, it looks like a checker box. Actually, if you stroll down our Instagram page, it looks like a checker box, but it's really you know you're going to get this consistent content. Now, some people have all black backgrounds. Some people do um, filters. But you got to figure out what is your feed going to look like? Because 
this gives people um, anticipation on what the type of content, whether it's the fonts that you use, the whatever it is, you want to be consistent. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is you got to have a posting schedule. There is no way you're going to get to 10,000 followers, 5,000 followers, 100,000 followers, whatever it is, without a schedule. You got to follow your audience insights. And I'm going to go over that too for the best times to post. You, one thing we did an experiment, actually, I was just laying in the bed, you guys because I have some social media um, people that's helping me with the Instagram. So it's not just me posting and it's not just me engaging with you guys. It's also a company. I have um, a team and I'm, I'm definitely trying to build out that team even more. So if you, you know, wondering, is this Debbie? Most of the time it is me, but sometimes it's not me. So just, just know that, but uh, you need to have a consistent schedule. So what we did was in the middle of the night, I was just laying I think it was like a Wednesday night or something like that or Thursday. And I saw this post. I said, you know, what? I'm going to repost it. And it got honestly at this point, you know, it's almost at a thousand likes. You know, it's one of our most popular um, photos. And I just did it randomly. Like it was like 11 o'clock, almost 12 o'clock at night. And I was just on Instagram, which I really should have been sleeping. But you test different times and you see when people post. Now, I think why it did well was because I beat out all the other traffic. You got to think most people are sleeping. 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time is about nine o'clock LA time. So I got the LA people. Um, I got some people on the East, you know, so it's good to test different times, but you want to be consistent. Now, the other thing is you can collaborate with other accounts within your niche. If you're into music, which most of you guys that are watching me, you're into some type of music or whatever, I would suggest that you start to not just lurk on social media, especially Instagram, but start to save them. So there's a little um, bookmark thing that Instagram has where you can save, you can save posts and people and all that, and you can put them in collections. What I would challenge every single one of you guys to do is create a folder that's called um, hit list or create a folder that's called um, networking or whatever it is that you want to call it or producers, you know, be really, really specific and then go back into your save files and figure out how can I start connecting with these people? How can I start collaborating with other accounts that's inside of my niche and think locally too. Don't think just music based, think locally, think um, also maybe your audiences, let's say you're a Latin artist. Maybe you get with another, um, Latin based um, um, account that has nothing to do with music, but it's catered to the Latin community or you're a female entrepreneur and you're trying to reach um, certain things. So just think about what you're what you're doing and start to collaborate. OK, that's really, really important. Now, this is another tactic that a lot of you guys already know, but I want to mention this because it's really important. If you get shout outs from larger accounts, this is something that we're thinking about doing. Um, I know this is a tactic that does work. It just, you know, you just have to pin. But remember, you will most likely have to pay. So what I would suggest you guys do is if you're trying to get shout outs from a larger account, you need to... Um, I would suggest before you do this, really, you, you should have a nice amount of, of followers. When I say a nice amount, let me give you a quantitative. Mm -hmm. Let's build it up at least 3,000 minimum. 3,000. I mean, th this is just something I'm just thinking off the top of my head because I wouldn't try to reach out to somebody that has a million and you don't even have 10,000 followers or even 100,000 followers. It makes no sense. So maybe if you have under 10,000, maybe you reach out to somebody with 20,000. How about that? So it, you know, it's, 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 it's a little out of your reach, but it's, it's not really, you know, like it, you're just not reaching for the people that have millions and millions and millions of people that are already hitting them up. Maybe you do 10,000 or 15,000, you know, you, you stay big enough, but you don't go too big where it's like, okay, I'm probably never going to hear from this person. Now you guys can go ahead and message them if you want, but I don't suggest doing that if you don't even have a good following. And if you don't follow the other tips that I mentioned before. Now, the other thing I want to mention too, is you want to get feedback from your audiences. So I remember when I was doing lives on Wednesdays and Fridays, right? And then you guys were like, I think it was a Q and a Friday. You guys were like, yeah, I don't like Wednesdays. I'm not on lives on Wednesdays. And I noticed that. And I was like, okay, let's to a poll. And everybody said, well, why don't we do the weekends? Why don't you do Fridays and Saturdays? So be willing to pivot, be willing to flex, um, be flexible and hear what your audience are saying. Okay. 
um, and make the necessary changes. Now, the last thing I'm going to say too, and I'm going to go into the next point is you want to make content for your audience and not just for yourself. I'm sick and tired of watching people on Instagram post things that nobody would share, nobody would care about. So, I mean, even if like today, like I said, today is what International Women's Day. If you had a nice photo of a female producer or a female singer that inspires you or um, your mother or maybe your sister or maybe some, you know, female empowerment quote or a politician or a, whatever it is, capitalize on what's going on. Because if you make content Oh, well, you need to make content for your audience, but you can also make content for what's going on in pop culture and what's going on in the world. So you need to pay attention to what's going on because that will help your posts um, get more, um, what is it, growth, honestly, at the end of the day. And that's what you want. So don't just think about what you like to post. You need to go with what's working. And that's another reason why you need to poll your audience on Instagram and say, I just did this post and it was called Here For underline blank. So it was like here for, and then blank. And the reason why I did that was because I said, you know, I want to know why people are, are following us on Instagram, because if I don't understand this data, this does nothing for me. Right. So I put out tips. Are you following me for tips? Are you following me for how to's? Are you following me for news? Are you following me? And I got a lot of data. And I took that data and I said, okay, this is what we need to be focused on because this is what the people want. And we're not going to do, we're going to do less of what we want, which, you know, maybe quotes or, you know, other random things. And people want this. So we got to give it to them. Okay. Now, the other thing I want to talk about too is having a checklist. So everybody that's re-watching this, you may want to get some notes. <laughs> notepad or whatever, or um, just put it in your phone. It doesn't matter. But these are checklists and I'm going to go through them um, pretty fast, but I'm going to go slow too. So the first thing is you want to check. This is a daily checklist to grow your following. I'm going to say that again. This is a daily Instagram checklist to grow your following. Now you can use it for Instagram. You can use it for Facebook, but I would suggest, you know, you could focus on Instagram since that's what we're talking about. The first thing is you want to check and update posts. You want to check and update your posting calendar. You have to have a social media calendar. You guys, you have to think, okay, what type of content am I doing this week? What type of con you got to create it, check it and update it. Then the other thing you have to do constantly is reply to comments and reply to questions that people have. And I've seen so many people now, can I get to all of my, my, um, comments even from two years ago, say somebody just runs through my, I can't get to everyone, but I definitely try my best to do it. So I, I suggest you guys check the comments. Then the next thing is you need to monitor if anybody's mentioning you, whether it's your hashtag, it's your name, they shout you out. And reach out to those people and thank them. Repost them in your stories, your Instagram stories, or, you know, just engage with those people. The other thing you need to do on a daily basis is discover industry related keywords and um, terms. So if you're in the music business, which most of you guys are, you need to be following hashtag music law, hashtag music business, hashtag, you know, but then if your audience are females, you need to be following hashtags that those female audiences, and that's why I want to go into insights, which you guys should be looking at. So you need to discover what's happening inside of your industry, be involved and be engaged. Okay. Now, the other thing I want to mention is you want to check what your competition is doing. Now, do I do this all the time? Mm, I see what my competition is doing via the hashtags, because you know, right now on Instagram, you can actually follow people based on the hashtags. And that's when I see my competition. I see, well, okay, this person's posting this. Okay. This is the video that everybody's posting. Right. So, um, yeah, that's how I kind of find out what my competitors are doing or whatever it is in this niche. Now, the other thing is monitoring industry news and topics. This helps you grow your following because you know what's happening. You know what I've been posting that inside of the engagement groups that we have on Instagram. And I've been sharing content like ASCAP suing the 13 companies not paying people. And I just shared um, another story that I found, um, which was, um, what was it? It was a streaming companies. They were going after making sure the revenue for the songwriters were uh, 44% up. So, you know, when I find stuff like that, I want to share it 
because this is very important to my audience, which is independent um, musicians, artists, producers, songwriters, that's the type of information that they would want. Now you have to go back and think that's good information for you, but you also need to think what is good for your industry, where your audience is, where are their eyeballs? You have to think about that. Now, the other thing is you need to discover trending hashtags like today. Obviously, I keep mentioning this because this is a big thing. Today is International Women's Day. You also have, um, what is it? I think it's Women's History Month or whatever it is. So find out you know, maybe annual holidays or really big holidays that everybody celebrates. And maybe you can incorporate that. Honestly, if you were a singer or songwriter, you should have posted something on your LinkedIn or your YouTube or your Instagram and singing a song or dedicating a song to women and women empowerment. That would have been amazing. And then tagging a whole bunch of female um, boss and empowerment uh, Instagram accounts that would have got you a lot of views today because a lot of people are talking about women empowerment, girl boss, females run the world, whatever it is. That would be a genius idea, right? You have Cinco de Mayo. If you're into the Latin artists, you need to be blowing up on that. If you're into the urban, um, excuse me, if you're into the urban community, you need to know when certain albums are dropping or when certain things, you know, when certain things are happening and how you can understand what's going on in your industry. The other thing too is discovering um, new hashtags to, to use. And then the last thing I would say is you need to monitor, monitor and comment on influencers posts. So if you don't have a lot of following, what I do, this is a great hack. I'm telling you guys, I'm gonna give you some good, some good gems. If there, when you have, um, when you look up a hashtag on Instagram, there's normally that top nine posts, those top, top, top people, right? What I would suggest you guys do when you get some time, like all of those comments, go through all nine of those comments, like them all. And I think it's a heart now. Now you can just like it, right? Then you go back and you just say, you know, a couple quick quick tips or quick, um, you know, thank you, or, you know, I agree with you or whatever it is you need to be posting and commenting on their accounts. Why? Because it brings people back to your account. Cause then somebody is going to get a notification and be like, who is this guy? Who's this girl that's commenting on a post that I already like? I already know who I like, but you're leveraging their audience and turning them into possibly a follow of yours. Now this takes time but it is very effective, right? So you got to sit down and you got to think, okay, what hashtags do I want to follow? Um, how am I going to engage with people in the comments and really be genuine, you guys. Don't just say, check out my music or if you like this, you would love my YouTube video or you would love to come to my store or buy my beats. You don't want to do that, you guys. Build genuine relationships and just agree with people. Just, <clears throat> excuse me, ask people and know what people are talking about and just jump in the conversation. That's that. Okay. That's really, really important for you guys to understand because if you don't understand this, then you can't, um, you, you just won't grow. You just won't grow. Um, okay. And I'm going to get to questions a little bit later. This is the last thing I want to say about growing your following to from zero to 10,000. Um, the other thing is there is uh, Instagram insights. So if you have your Instagram page um, set on, what is it? A business profile. So that gives you um, access to promote on Instagram, meaning put some money in, boost your posts, make some money off Instagram. You can find out who your followers are. These are the top three things. Now, this is another, you may want to write this down. These are the top three Instagram insights that you need to pay attention to. The first thing is your locations top locations. Okay. This allows you to better understand where your audience is located. A lot of y'all are like, I don't know where my audience is. I don't know where my audience is. I'm like, have you looked into your analytics? Have you looked into your data? Because if you use this insight, you can use it doing time zones. So if you have a lot of people in India or you have a lot of people in LA, Los Angeles, or you have a lot of people in London, or you have a lot of people in New York, like the East Coast, like for me, our following, I can just use Artist Hustle, our main followers are in New York and Atlanta. New York and Atlanta. So that means East Coast time, that's the best time for me to post. Now, I think we have some West Coast, but it's mainly East Coast. So it's really important for you guys to understand the locations because this will give you great insight on when you should be posting content regards to time zones, okay? Not just 
you know, Instagram tells you 3 p.m., but maybe it's in your followers time zone and maybe not necessarily your time zone. Now, the second thing is the engagement days. When are the top days your followers are on Instagram? Because this allows you to better understand the days your audience are the most active. That's when you want to be posting your um getting them to buy something, getting engagement, maybe posting an announcement. Those are those days. Now you want to use this insight to post content on the days that they're the most active. So for me and my audience, I realized the later I go, like right now during live, there's not that many of you guys on, but let me tell you something. When I've done lives at 11 o'clock at night, for some reason, a whole bunch of people just are on YouTube or a whole bunch of people are on Instagram. And I don't know why, but I, well, then again, I do know why, because a lot of musicians stay up late. You guys are vampires. A lot of you guys are not everybody, but a lot of you guys are, but the most engagement dates honestly are on the weekend. Fridays are our most engagement days. And that's why we always do Q and a Fridays. And it's really, really, it, it goes really, really well, really, really well. And then the third thing, insight that you need to understand is engagement times. So now you can play with this, right? You don't have to do it every single time, the same time, all the time. But what I would recommend you do is at least benchmark it, test it for about a couple of months and see how your engagement goes. So this allows you for better understanding the days and the times that you can actually post because maybe during lunchtime is when you should be posting like 12 o'clock. Now, Instagram gives you from 12 a.m. to 9 p.m., right? And the bluer it gets, you, you, you'll you see it on the Instagram insights, but the bluer and the higher the bar is, the more likely your followers will actually be on Instagram and actually will engage with you on Instagram. So that's why when you use schedulers and um, social media, different tools and stuff like that, you want to know this data because if you have anything going on promotion wise events or whatever, you need to be posting it at the peak point. Now, some people will say, well, you don't have to do that in order to grow your following. You can honestly test it out. I'm just saying to benchmark it, to just get your following up to that first 10,000, start to use those analytics and then play with it. Just because they say 12 o'clock, you only post at 12 o'clock. Sometimes maybe post in the middle of the night. Sometimes post, um, you know, don't, don't go by the analytics. Um, what I want to say, don't, you don't have to go by the analytics literally exactly what it says. I'm saying do it for a while, test it, but throw in some posts every now and then on different times. You don't have to do it exactly at the same times because for us, Fridays are the most important days. And then 12 PM, 3 PM and 6 PM works amazing amazing during the week. So if I have any important things, I have three different times. Really, I think our most engagement is 12 p.m. actually. So 12 p.m. when people are going out to lunch, that's when we post all the time. Like that's when we get the most engagement. Three o'clock, I think that's when people are like, eh, you know, they're just strolling on Instagram. You know, they may open back up Instagram. It's not as much. 6 p.m. is the next highest one because I think everybody's kind of like, the day is over. You're just checking Instagram. You're just seeing what, you know, what's been going on since, you know, whatever it is. So yeah, 12 o'clock and 6 p.m. really is our best two times. Um, and that's a really good insight. So now that I'm done talking about, you know, the, the daily checklist, the different things you need to do to grow your following, and also the Instagram insights you need to pay attention to, which is location, engagement days, and engagement times. Let's talk the questions. Come on, you guys. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let's see. Let me go inside of my um, YouTube because I was on Instagram looking at everybody on there. Um, okay. All right. So, okay. I logged into my YouTube and saw you're live. I never clicked on something so fast. That's so funny. Thank you so much. If you guys are in here and you didn't like the video, how dare you? How dare you not like the video? You're supposed to like the video. Or if you're on Instagram, you're supposed to heart the video. But do you guys have any questions? Do you guys want to um, talk about anything specific for your Instagram or social media in general? Because I want to keep it on that topic. Um just want to keep it on the topic for now. So this is the time to do so. So I'll give you guys a couple minutes to ask anything you guys have. Um, let me know.
Oh, wow, that's cold. Ooh, that's cold. Wow. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, let me know if you guys have any other comments, um, because I definitely want to use the Q&A Fridays. I know the later I go, the more people actually get on, um, but yeah. Uh, is that coffee? No, it's not coffee. I needed coffee today, you guys. No, I, this was a gift. And a lot of people, they give me mugs. This was a birthday gift. Um, it says, just a girl who loves dolphins. So anybody that truly knows me, they know my favorite animal is a, is a dolphin, a bottlenose dolphin. So um, I got this as a gift. And it's not coffee. It's actually water because I'm trying to... Um, just stay hydrated, even though actually it's snowing. I wish I can show you guys, but it's snowing in DC right now. Um, I'm not looking forward to going outside after it snows because <laughs> I'm just not looking forward to that. But um, yeah, so I, I love dolphins and the person that got this for me actually got me another dolphin keychain, And then my brother got me a dolphin uh, necklace and you know, so there's certain things I just like, and then people just say, Oh, I want to get that for her. So it's really, really sweet. So thanks for asking, but no, it's not coffee. I, today was a restless day. I'm not going to lie. Today was a tough day for me. There's been a, it, the last couple of weeks has been really, really tough. Um, I've been just pushing through and some days I'm like a zombie because I'm just like, how in the world am I getting things done? I don't even know how I'm getting things done. I'm just doing it. So I'm just trying to push past all of that because it's not always easy. This crap is not easy, you guys. Just because you guys see me on here every single week, you're like, oh man, she's just doing it. I'm like, I'm just like you guys. Some days I don't want to do it, but I have to do it because <clears throat> the reason why I'm doing it is bigger than me. So I appreciate everybody being on here. I appreciate everybody telling me happy Women's Day. And I want to say that to all the ladies that are watching or re maybe rewatch this um, later on. Hopefully you guys did have a good day. Hopefully you had a good day. <laughs> I had a, today was a rough day for me, man. Today was kind of rough. Um, I thought about getting some coffee, but I don't really drink coffee like that. So, um, but yeah. Hey theme. Hey, big bank. Hey, um, yes. Okay. So I wanted to talk if you guys have any actual questions, because I don't want it to turn into like, what's going on with you, Debbie? I mean, unless y'all want to talk about that, but I mean, I want to make sure y'all social media, you know, is going to go. And Big Bank, you're doing such a great job. He's, um, you guys, he's on, he's on YouTube right now and he's been doing, I, I was watching his performances. I think he was performing. I forgot where he was performing. I think he's on tour. Are you still on tour? I think he was on tour with a couple of artists and, um, He's um, based in the, uh, what is it, Florida area, Orlando, I believe. So, yeah, definitely connect with him in the in the comments, you guys. Okay. Um, okay. Sen, Sen, Serena, Serena, Senria. You know what? I'm going to call you Sen. I, I'm a butcher name. Look, I'm so sorry. You know, you, you guys, you know I mess up people's name all the time. So, Sen says, I'm under 100 followers currently. So, so I'm limited on learning about activity on my page. Oh, really? They limit you? Wow, I didn't know that. I'm super excited for this wow journey of becoming a performer and you've been helping a lot. How have I been helping you? Tell me. Tell me how I've been helping you. What's been going on? What you been watching? Um, <laughs> um, I'm also in the DMV area as well. I'm a singer and dancer. I have an a and &R that's been following my account should I reach out to them for advice? Ugh. Okay. So Sin is in the DMV. So Sin, you need you need to um please uh I don't know what I'm gonna do a DMV meetup. I'm from this area. I just moved back literally, y'all, last fall because of family. I didn't move back because oh, I just miss I just miss my hometown. Now I miss the go-go music. I miss the culture. Now I miss, you know, the good food and my, you know, that stuff I miss. But, you know, I was staying down south for a reason. I was trying to get some business stuff going on down there. So I have to reevaluate that whole situation. So I appreciate 
you being in the DMV area, but I definitely want to, I probably should meet up with a couple of you guys that are in the DC area or maybe even New York. Um, cause, uh, people have been asking me about that. Am I going to South by Southwest? No, I'm not going by South by Southwest. Um, this year, a lot of people have been asking me, um, what events am I going to go to? I'm kind of weary telling people which events I'm going to be at because some people are really extremely inappropriate. <laughs> Just to be completely honest, I don't mind networking with people, but at the same time, some people, they're really, you don't know why they're following you. And then you find out, oh, she's going to be here. And then it's, you know, so I'm going to let people know mainly probably my VIP list first. So if you guys are not on the VIP list, you need to be on the email list. And it, I always drop in the links. Um, So yeah, if anything, I probably would tell them first and then um, eventually maybe uh, make an announcement like I did last year when I was in Atlanta and I was driving up from Houston to DC. And I said, Hey, if you guys are in Atlanta, let's meet up. If you guys are in Columbia, let's meet up. If you guys, you know, I make sure that I do do that, but I also have to be careful because I'm an itty bitty thing. Y'all may think I'm a, I'm an itty bitty thing in person. If y'all ever meet me, y'all be like, dang, she's just, she's fun size. Like she's little. So I don't have no body girl. Like I got to make sure <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Some people are crazy, but yeah, I'm not going by South by South West, like, sweetheart. Mm. But, um, so I have to be really careful as a single one. I'm gonna put it out there as a single unmarried woman that like, when I go to events, I have to not necessarily tell everybody what I'm doing and necessarily where I'm at at all times, because it is a security problem, right? It's a security problem. So I want to make sure that I do do that. So you guys, <laughs> don't feel offended if you don't know exactly where I'm going to be at. But no, I'm go not going to South by Southwest. But we are posting other music events that are happening. So if there are things that are happening in the DMV area, then I will probably um, definitely probably attend, but I'm staying close to family because there's a lot of medical situations. So I'm not able to travel as much because I have to be here just in case anything goes down. This is I'm talking about surgeries. I'm talking about life changing um, events. So I really can't be traveling the way I used to right now until everything is clear. When everything's clear, then I'll start back traveling. But right now I'm just on lockdown at this point. Um, because family is first, you guys, I love business and I love helping people, but my family means so much more to me than being at every event and making sure my name and my face is out there. Eventually we'll get to that point. But right now I have to take care of home first. I have to make sure they're good. And then once they're good, then I'm going to be able to, um, network with other people outside of, um, the DMV. So Okay, cool. Um, let me go to the next comment. I'm also on the DV. Okay, yeah. I'm in Maryland, but I'm from Miami. I used to live in Miami. I used to live in Miami, Florida. I went to school in um Florida. I miss it. Yeah, yeah. I bet you miss it during the snow, unless you like the snow. Most people don't like the snow though. <laughs> Most people do not like the snow. But yes, if you're just now joining, because I know this is a live stream, we're doing QA Friday. So if you have questions, let me know. Um send okay, send okay. Theme says they start stalking. I feel you. Thank you. Because I can't tell everybody where I'm at at all points and times. You know, I just, I just, I can't do it. I, I feel like, you know, people, you just got to be careful with that. You got to maneuver your way through telling people where you're at at all two point in times. Now, some people, they don't care. They're just like, oh, I, I'm going to tell everybody. That's not me. I'm not going to tell everybody what's going on and where I'm at at all points in times because that's just a complete can't do that. Um, but sin, let me go back to um, what she said before. She said that she's at a, under 100 followers on Instagram. And she said that um, she so she's limited on learning the activity on the page. But sin, let me know in the comments. Are you on a business account already? I know that you don't have that many followers, but the few followers that you do have, do you have some type of insight on them? Um, okay. And then she mentioned that she has an A&R that's been following my account. Should I reach out for them to them for advice? Well, first of all, sin, if somebody's following you on Instagram, that's great you know, and you know, they're following you and that's great. What I would suggest before you slide in them DMs, right? Before you, you know, start, you know, getting a conversation going, 
check out their account. Go look on their website or, or um, get on their newsletter or just find out who they are. Do some Google researches on the person or on their brand and just do some homework first before you reach out to them. Because if you just reach out to them because they're following you, Exactly. The, the, the dead space, right? So it, it, it just doesn't make sense. So what I would suggest you do is before you even think about following them, um, and, and honestly, if they really wanted to work with you, they would have actually sent you a message at this point. Maybe they're just following you right now because they're just trying to see how much work will she put in. Maybe they like you. I don't know, but I don't, don't get too excited. I'm not saying don't get excited, but don't get too excited, but do some do some research on them. Go look at them. Go look at what they're posting. Look at what people are saying about them. And um, if you feel led to do it, then reach out. But honestly, you should be focused on your content. You should be focused on um, building up your fan base, right? And since, since you're in the DMV area, <clears throat> that's really crazy because she's in the same city as me. So I really need to do a meetup. <laughs> I'm just thinking about that. Let me know, Sin, or anybody else that's in the DMV or nearby the East Coast, um, if you guys would want me to do a meetup um, by summer. Because, I, I mean, I have to hear from you guys. I'm not going to do anything if I don't know for sure. And then somebody will be like, yeah, so I thought we were going to do the meetup. Yeah, we'll do it. And then if no one shows up or if only half of the people show up, then fine. But um, I do feel like it is important to meet with people. So keep working on it and definitely take these tips that I gave you, but take action, sweetheart. Don't just watch this video and then do nothing or just be rah, rah, hump, pumped up. And then you are not following through. So make sure, and you're a woman too, Sin. I hope that you posted something about International Women's Day. It's not too late. Hopefully you've done maybe a song or um, maybe posted something and tagged women in it or go to that hashtag and just shout out other women. Like, you know what? Good job. Or, you know, love, you know, love um, female bosses or whatever it is. Like, make sure that you're involved in stuff like that because it's really important. And I just thought about what Big Bank said. He said, is this coffee? Honestly, right now, it's almost 9 o'clock at night. If I was drinking coffee, oh, man. If y'all ever seen the Instagram, no. Was it the Instagram live or was it YouTube? No, it was Instagram. When I was back in Houston and I drank coffee in the middle of the night, and I, I brought up my whiteboard, and I was just going crazy. I was going crazy, y'all. I was like, okay, what's next? Who who else wants help? Who else? I was on, I was on 10. I was on 10. 10 that night. So I'm really careful about <laughs> coffee and taking supplements. Okay. But make sure that you guys like this video because it helps with the ranking, helps with the ranking. Go ahead and like the video. We're in the Q and a section right now. I said the section we're in the Q and a portion, um, right now. So I'm really excited. So go ahead and like the video, go ahead and, um, putting your comments. I think somebody asked me a question. Let me see if I could see it. Okay. Um, Big Bang says, do you think musicians should follow fans or only super fans? Maybe people who purchase a project. A, I said a project, a product. Okay. So I think there should be a, mm, there should be a balance. I mean, if you, I don't see anything wrong with it, but you don't want to like, say you have, so you have 5,000 and then, you know, you have, but you have, um, let's say you have, uh, let, ugh, I'll just use an even easy number. You have 10,000 people following you, right? You don't want to follow 10,000 people back. You just don't because your fans will be posting things you don't care about. But yeah, I think, um, you can follow your fans. I think you should follow your fans that do invest in you. Like you mentioned before in the second question, um, people who are on your email list, let me tell you who you should follow, or at least even if you don't follow them directly, maybe you set up a DM, a special DM for a fan club or VIPs or whatever you want to call it. Um, maybe inside of Instagram, instead of following them, but you create a special group for those people, like people who always comment, people who always come to your shows. I think people who have bought tickets, people who have purchased merchandise from you, who have, um, sign up for your email list, who go to your website, who share your content, make a list of those people 
and put them in a special DM. Give them special treatment. You know what I mean? Tell them special announcements because they're your super fans like he was talking about before. So maybe set up a separate DM group inside of Instagram and that's your way of following them. But you don't have to necessarily follow them to engage with them. Does that make sense? And I think if you do that, that kind of keeps you engaged, but you don't have to necessarily follow everybody. And remember, Big Bank, you don't want to be, everybody shouldn't be inside of that VIP list. VIP list anyway. It should only be people who truly, truly care and always support what you have going on. You don't want everybody in there. Okay. I'm telling you, it may be like, oh man, but I only have like 20 people in there. That's all you need right now. I would rather you have 20 in extremely engaged people than have 200 people in there and only five people talk to each other. You don't want that. Smaller sometimes is better. Okay. Okay, Sin says, yes, I'm on the business account. Cool. As far as the a &R, I was shocked that they followed me. The reason is being because the music group is under my hit list. Oh, ah, is that a term that Artist Hustle used that she's using? <laughs> okay, I need to coin that term. I really need to. Okay, so I'm sorry. They're on my hit list to work with in the future. Okay, that's great. Then that's great, Sin. I'm excited for you. Um, How can I organize the content that I put out? I dance and I sing. I would love to add some content to showcase my personality somehow, but I want my page to have a certain, okay, a certain theme. Okay, okay. So how can you organize the content that you put out? Well, Sin, if you were on my VIP list, I sent out everybody an email about two hours ago. Tell me in the comments, are you guys on the VIP email list? Because I just sent out content on um, the eight powerful tools that would actually take your Instagram to the next level. And I'm not posting this on Instagram and I'm not posting this on YouTube. I'm only giving it to people that are inside of the email list. So let me know, Sin, are you inside the email list? Because if you are, then you need to open up the last email that I just sent tonight. I think it was about seven o'clock um, Eastern Standard Time tonight. And it was all about Instagram. It's everything, all the different tools. There are tools that you can help schedule your content and organize it, find out the different hashtags you should be using. And I only gave this content to people that are on the email list. So please let me know if you guys are on the email list. Because if you're not, then you didn't get it. Then you didn't get it. So now, you know, you're like, oh man, how do I do all this stuff? Now I can't give you guys everything. Okay. I can't, I can't give it all. I can't give it all. But, um, yeah. Hey, hey, PJ. Hey, Bird. Hey, D. Hey, um, there's so many y'all on Instagram that's in and out. Uh, Band and Official and, um, Ray and Nana and KK and Julian and, ooh, a lot of y'all, you know, yeah. So how do you join the VIP list? Look, before I give out this link, okay, 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 okay. You guys have to engage, meaning open up these emails, click on it. Because what we do is we remove people who don't open our emails and engage and follow and, and comment and, 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 and um, communicate to us. We remove them off the list. Why? Because once we start getting partnerships with bigger brands and we're getting out deals for producers and artists and royalty apps and stuff like that, exclusive content that I'm not posting on social media. I only want people that are actually opening the emails, actually engaging, clicking on links and stuff like that. That's who the email list is for. It's not just for you guys to be hyped up on a Friday night and then click it and then you never open it again. So I'm going to give you guys the link on Instagram and I'm going to give you guys a link on YouTube as well. Um, it's I hustle daily. It's called I hustle daily. It's a VIP list and I only do exclusive content there. So I'll have to add you guys, um, to the new subscribers, um, for tonight. So give me a second, you guys, give me a, a hot second. Give me, a, <laughs> give me a second. Cause I'm gonna pull the link, um, so that you guys can hit. Oh, on Instagram, honestly, you can just, um, go to the link in my bio. That's actually the link, um, for, and it's always there. I haven't changed it because um, until we get the new website that I want to work on going, then um, I'll change the link. But right now we're trying to get the uh, the new website going. So go ahead and sign up. Oh, shoot. It won't even do it. It won't even let me do it. Why does YouTube keep doing that? Let me see if I can...
Let me see if I can do it like this. Okay. Okay, so um Um, thank you so much. Thank you so much, mister. Thank you so much for being on here. I really appreciate it. We're live on Instagram and on YouTube. You guys, make sure you like this video. Stop watching this video, not liking it. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all be watching this video and be like, oh, you know, I'll wait. I'll wait to review and I'll wait to like it. And I'll wait and I'll wait and I'll wait. So yeah, PJ, go to the link in our bio. When you finish watching this Instagram, please just go to the link in the bio because um, Instagram, I don't know if I'm able to put it in there. Let me see if I can type it in. Instagram real quick. Let me see. Hold on. Give me a second, you guys. I'm going to try to type this thing. And I wonder if I can pin it. I'm trying to still learn some things on Instagram, y'all. I don't know everything, but I'm trying. I am trying. But but put in any more questions you guys have so I can get to it. This is the time to do it. Um, but yes, if you guys didn't sign up for the VIP list and everybody that's on the VIP list, they've been loving it. They love the content. And I'm so excited because um, I have some more goodies for them to come and we're working on some new stuff. So uh, I definitely recommend you guys um, do that. So that's sign up for our um, VIP email list. <clears throat> Here it is. It's I Hustle Daily. That's the name of it. Now, can I, oh, oh, cool. Okay, it did it. Okay, well, that's the link there, sweetheart. Um, and if anything, you can't click on it, then just go to the link in our bio on Instagram and you'll be able to just sign up for the list. And anybody that signs up for today, I'll make sure I go back after the live stream and send you guys the link to um, the, the email that we just sent out, okay? Make sure you guys open this and engage. Because you will get kicked off the list. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying. It sounds crazy, but I'm being dead serious. Like I don't play around. I don't play around. Um. So what, what are, what are primary things a producer needs to focus on, uh, social media wise? Okay. Oh, well, first of all, it's it's not different than what artists have to do. As much as like. You know, people think artists hustle. I'm only talking to musicians. No, I'm talking to producers as well, engineers and songwriters. So what I would what I would suggest in theme, while I'm talking, please put in more information. Where are you from? What type of beats do you make? What are your goals? Um, your Instagram following right now. Give me some more context. So I'm gonna go off what you said, but type in some more things. Or if you want to call in, I can give you my number and we can talk live if you don't mind. Or if anybody wants to call in, we can talk live right now. Okay. Okay. Now Instagram, you can click to request live, but if you're on YouTube, I have to do call-ins. Unfortunately, I don't really know how to add people on, you know, I'll figure it out eventually. I just, you know, it takes me time. So anyways, um, one of the first things I would say, if you're a music producer and you're trying to grow your Instagram following, I would suggest, hey, Justin, thanks for joining, sweetheart. I would suggest that you first create three main goals. Why are you on social media? Is it to buy things or to sell things or to do some market research, meaning what people are searching for, finding your content. You got to figure out what your real goals are for social media. And then you need to figure out how you're going to create content to get people to take action on those three goals. Does that make sense? So let's break, let's break this down. Okay. Let's break this down. So theme, let me know if you can talk because I know the comments can be a lot to kind of try to type in everything. So let me know if you want to call in because that would probably be the best way for us to have an actual conversation. And this would actually benefit any other producers that actually um, would like this information and this um, in, in um, this uh, topic. So one of the first things I would say, like I said before, is you need to choose, you need to have three main things of social media. What do I want people to do? Is it to go to my website? Is I, am I using social media for placements? You know, I want to find music direct, um, music supervisors. I want to find, um, publishers. I want to like, you need to figure out what are your three top goals. 
Once you figure out your three top goals, then you have to create a content and monetization plan. That's step number two. If you don't have that, you will not grow and you will be wasting time on social media. So if that's to get people on your email list to eventually get into your sales funnel, which they will end up buying or at least sampling some of your beats or different things you have going on, or you're trying to book sessions. Maybe you're just trying to get people to come inside your studio and start booking up sessions, or maybe you do coaching. I don't know all the things that you do that's why i really want to and you're not saying anything in the comments so i don't know if you're off now or whatever but i'm gonna stop there because i don't want to keep going and you're not even on so that's all i'm gonna say is just those two things just just start there have top three goals okay and then come up with the content and monetization plan how you're gonna make money and what type of posts you're gonna create to leverage those three goals so that you actually achieve it. That's all I'm going to say. And theme, if you have any other questions, go ahead and drop them in there. Does anybody else have any other questions? Because I don't want to spend all the time on um, the one question if he's not on here anymore, because I don't see him um, mentioning anything else. Let me know, you guys. Let me know. Oh man, my back hurts. Um, let's see. Did I miss any other questions? Uh, how do I do that? I feel so overwhelmed. It sucks being a perfectionist. Oh, uh, that's sweet. Yeah, look, Sin. Um, don't worry about being a perfectionist. Honestly, I when I was a music manager, I worked with someone that wanted to be a perfectionist, and that is one of the reasons why I was like, I don't know if I can do this because you know I was telling him. What I told him was I wanted him to start a YouTube channel, right? That's how Artist Hustle on the YouTube side started, really. I did it just to prove him wrong. And it sounds a little crazy, but I was like, you know, I want you to start a YouTube channel. I want you to use your MacBook. Because he was like, well, you know, I want to use like a really professional camera. And, a real and I'm like, you don't have the budget for these things. Let's, let's keep it a buck. You don't have this money for a green screen and you know all these high definition photos so use what you have and start doing the content now and let's just see what happens and he just was really like like he was really really like no 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 it has to be right and if it's not right i'm not going to do it so the only videos that were on his um youtube channels are like five videos maybe if that right so it was crazy, but being a perfectionist can actually hurt you more than it, it can help you. So be careful of having that spirit and just realize it's time for you to go ahead and take action and don't worry about everything being perfect. Now you do need to do a strategy. You do need to plan, but don't worry about if you don't have everything together. Cause if I wait until I had everything together and I still don't have everything together and somebody would be like, Oh, your YouTube sucks or, Oh, your Instagram is not that great or whatever. You know, everybody can have an opinion, but you can't say that I'm not executing. Does that make sense? So if you're executing, that's all that matters. And then you learn through your execution. Hey, Debbie, I'm Kim, part owner of uh, Wick, 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 Wicked. Is that Wicked Entertainment in DC? Cool. Do you want to call? Do you have questions? Do you want to do a shout out? Look, this is the time to do shout outs too. Q&A Friday is for you guys. It's not about me. I don't even like sitting here just talking, 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 talking. I really want to hear from you guys. So I appreciate you guys being in the comments. But let me know if you guys want to join me live on Instagram or you want me to call in. But hey, Kim, I appreciate you being on here, okay? Um, Sin says, okay, maybe I used to, I used the wrong term. I'm a perfectionist, but humble. I'm always open to opinions and criticism. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, Wick has said, yes, I have a lot of questions, mainly with brand awareness. Okay, cool. So uh, Wick, um, um, Kim, I'm just going to say Kim. I'm not, I'm not going to say Wick kid. Kim, if you, oh, PJ has a question. Let me, I'm going to get to his question. Kim, let me know if you want me to call you. Um, if you don't mind, if you don't mind putting in your, uh, your, your, uh, your phone number just real quick and I'll remove it just like really, really fast if you don't mind. Cause then I can give you guys, I can give you a call um, live and then we can talk. Okay. So go ahead. And the only thing I ask, please, I always say this. The only thing I ask really you guys is that you do not please be cussing, be negative, you know, different things like that. I just don't 
want that, okay? So please, 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 please do not do that if we are going to talk on the phone because I just, I don't like it and I'm not going to spread that type of energy, okay? Um, before I call Kim, let me jump to this last question. How does one post content in an oversaturated field? Most producers promote their beats in the same way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so one of the things that you can do to stand out is if you're promoting your beats and all you're doing is showing, you know, you creating your beats or check out a snippet of my beat or whatever it is. I don't know how producers are doing it all the time, right? Because I don't follow specific producers on certain things, but I do notice certain things, right? What I would suggest you do, if you're a producer, you need to start thinking, how can I give back to the same people that I want to hire me? right? If you're focused on TV placements or, you know, more of the business side than necessarily getting artists, then that's who you need to be targeting. So maybe you need to be doing some how to's. That's how you can promote your beats by showing how you're an expert. You're doing tips. You're showing your software. Um, you're giving tips to artists when they come inside the studio. And I don't see a lot of producers do this. Now, there's some that do it and they're, they already have a big fan base. So that's a little different. But up and coming ones, you guys are just posting, check out my beats, sell my beats. That's not enough. You guys, maybe once a week, why don't you shout out a local artist or shout out a local business or partner with somebody and give back to the same community that you're trying to get from? So I think that helps you promote your beats. Or you can also promote your beats through YouTube. Get on YouTube. This is a great tip, y'all. Any producer, this is the time. Y'all need to share this content right now. Get on YouTube. Get on vlogs. Get on Instagrams and say, you know what? I like these accounts and I have perfect music for your background. You know, there was one, there was only one producer that has ever come to me and said, Debbie, I want to give you free beats for Artist Hustle. Yeah, it was only one producer that ever did that. You know what everybody else does? Oh man, let me try to, you know, get, 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 figure out a way where you can get your beats into YouTube series and, um, you know, different, um, small, maybe independent projects that's in the, in, um, your local area, but start to think outside of the box besides social media. Okay. I know you're posting content. I know it's important, but if you start to get outside of just what everybody else is doing, then this will help you stand out. So I want to go ahead and call Kim. Um, let me give me a second. Excuse me. Give you give me a second, you guys. Um, but hopefully that helps, PJ. Let me know if that kind of helps you. Hope that opens up your mind to start to think outside of, you know, posting a beat a week or you know giving away to beat or whatever it is. You know, so just start to think more creatively. And I mean, if you need more help um, or whatever, just you know let me know and maybe we can um, definitely get to that. But I think that was a good uh, base to start with for now. Um, let's see here. I don't even know if my thing is like up. Is my, can you guys hear that? I wonder if you guys can hear. Let me make sure. Hopefully you guys... Hi, Debbie. How you doing? Oh, good. Is this Ken? Yes. Okay, mute. Yeah, mute yeah. the mute the video because I'm gonna hear the echo. So go ahead and mute that, and then yeah. <laughs> okay, I got it. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Um, yes, yeah, so brand awareness, please. Other than imaging. Okay. Cool. Yes, brand awareness is a problem somewhat. Um. Okay, so engagement is not a problem, as I'm saying. So I guess content is pretty good. However, brand awareness somehow is getting lost throughout this content. It seems to be a hit and miss. So that's bringing, that's becoming a problem of gaining a fan base to create a loyal fan base. Am I making sense? Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> Say okay. that again, because I'm like I'm okay. I'm understanding, but I'm trying to get two and two and two together. Okay, so yeah, say that again. Oh, in Instagram, I'm gonna have to restart because they're about to kick me off. But go ahead, go say that again, Kim. Okay, so with brand awareness, I'm having a problem 
um, my engagement and content seems to be pretty good. However, when it comes to brand awareness, it's getting lost in translation because I'm seeming to have a problem with gaining a fan base to create a loyal fan base. Okay. You're cre- say, say the last part again. So you're creating... Okay. Say the last part again. So... The, my whole uh, brand awareness campaign okay. somehow is getting lost in my content. I'm gaining this engagement, but I'm having a problem with gaining fame, like a loyal fan base. It seems to be a hit or miss. Okay. And it's kind of frustrating because I know it seems like now it's like a random act of marketing where I'm kind of just like putting stuff out there, just putting stuff out there. Even when I do have this whole schedule content going, a whole schedule, um, my, my content schedule there's still a problem somewhere and I can't seem to find it. Well, first of all, um, thanks for coming on here. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Thanks for, you know, you know, um, being brave enough to, um, want to talk and, and, and analyze. So what I want you to do, Kim, um, sweetheart, what Mm -hmm. I want you to do is, um, can you put in, we're talking about Instagram. Now, are you talking about your web, uh, specific Instagram account or a YouTube account? What, what social media are you talking about? Let's just start with the basics. Um, basically, Instagram right now. Okay. So what I need you to do, because I want to look at your Instagram so we can kind of, like, I can kind of get a better idea of what you've been doing. I know you'll know more, but I, I, I haven't seen anything. So if you can type it in, um, the actual, okay, is that it? Okay, here yeah. it is. I think she... So that's on Instagram. So give me a second, you guys. I'm going to... Hey, everybody on um, Instagram. <laughs> Sweet pea, um, uh, free show me. <clears throat> Thanks again for joining, you guys. I know Instagram always kicks me off after an hour. YouTube doesn't, but Instagram always does. So um, I appreciate you guys hopping back on um, to hear this. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Okay, now I'm on your page. All right. Okay. All right. Let's see here. <clears throat> All right. Look at where I'm at. Okay. And you guys, let me actually put the actual link so people can go and support you and what you guys have going on. Jamal says, What about me? Jamal, you're saying that you want to talk to me live? Let me know. And then once we're done with Kim, we can definitely talk to you as well. Um, so that's her link. You guys, if you want to support, <clears throat> you want to support her, um, company, go ahead and do that. But yeah. Okay. So let me just look at thank your, you, Daddy. huh? I said, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. No problem. So, okay. So she right now she has over about 200 followers and she's done about 75 posts. Okay. You're following about 50 people. Okay. All right. So wicked and forever. Okay. You know what? Before I start to dive into your Instagram. How about you just tell everybody that's listening right now, Instagram, YouTube, everything, who are you, what you do, um, you know, just your pitch, like exactly what you are and what you do. And then that gives me a better idea of, you know, maybe to help you depending on what you have going on. So. Okay. So basically what we are is we are an entertainment company in Washington, D.C., um, we have we um, a hip hop entertainment company in Washington D.C. Let me basically um, express that. And um, basically, what we do is live music experiences with our artists. Um, right now, we're trying to get into the digital world in regards to creating a live music experience where we can gain fan engagement and where we can get a loyal fan base and where we can also build a platform for other artists to basically create their whole live music experience. How long have you guys been in business? This would be about a year now. Okay, a year. And what's your background? I mean, what what have you, have you been in the business long? Like, just talk about you. Honestly, I'm a doctor. I'm oh, in healthcare. That's great. That's right. Great. So I'm switching over to a whole nother industry. Um, the, one of the artists that we have, he's actually 16 years old. And um, it is lucked up, just believed in him so that much that I'm willing to I'm willing to do this. I'm willing to go this far with him. And so far, the traction has been good. 
it's just a brand awareness that I'm having a problem with. And who's this artist that you're, is it just one person on the roster or is there a couple artists on the roster? No, there is a couple of artists on the roster. Um, Jay Blunt, J um, underscore B L V N T. That's his Instagram. Um, he's one of our main artists that we're pushing right now. We also have another artist, Young Wolf, one Young Wolf, W O O C H. Um, right now, he's kind. We're not promoting him as hard. We're kind of just giving Jay Blunt the platform right now to lead. Okay. And you're focused, you're focused on the urban market. You're, okay. All right. So, okay. You do, the goal is to get these, and you mostly, obviously, it's independent artists, obviously. So, yeah. they, um, how, how big is their following and are they making sales right now? Or is it just a hobby or what, what's going on with your, the, the artists that you do have signed? It's definitely not a hobby with them. Okay. Um, right now, in regards to their following, the following with Jay Blunt is at 660 followers. However, he seemed to be losing followers due to a lack of promotion. Right now, he's in school. So promotion, promoting is a hard thing for him to do solely, even with the outside promotion. It seemed to be a problem with gaining, like, not gaining followers that get in that fan base. Who is he trying to target? Uh, who, um, if I listen to his music, who would you say he sounds like, or who would be his um his fans? Honestly, J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar. He's very lyrical and he's conscious. So it's not like your average hip hop. Because we don't promote guns, drugs. We're not that. We actually promote talent. And it seems to be harder that way because it's a little bit more generic because you actually have something to offer. It's not a lack of substance. It's actually something there. But for some reason, it's not grasping to the out to the public. Hmm. Especially to our own. We are in Washington, D.C. So it's like... <clears throat> We're surrounded in one environment, but who he is is not that environment. And it's kind of like, dang, it clashes. It's no support whatsoever in the hmm. sense. So he's not getting the local support, even though you guys are putting, have you guys been putting on shows? What, when's the next event? Or what do you guys have planned for the next couple of weeks? Um... The next show, well, not the next show, but our long term show was not a long term show, but in June we have the Kennedy Center, the Kennedy Center, mm -hmm. which they do, um, which would be a free show, which we're going to actually do a fan appreciation show. Um, we're doing like little venue shows where we create in our own shows right now for him. He's 16. So that brings about another problem with getting into clubs and stuff. Mm -hmm. So now we have to create another entity. To promote him, which is not a problem, but getting people in there is the problem. And yeah. I don't really consider fan, fans our friends or family. Hold on, what, do you, like that, what do you mean by that? Like, um, when I say our friends or family, like, most of, the, uh, most of our following are friends and fans. Oh, okay. Not that I don't consider them as fans, but yeah. when I say, like, that outside of that, mm -hmm. it's not that many. Okay. And and normally, honestly, Kim, that's more where most people start. And sometimes they don't even have the support of their family, to be completely honest. Like, sometimes it's like, why are you even doing this thing? So, um, outside of social media, what are you guys doing in the DMV to keep getting connections and just, you know... Um, <clears throat> getting exposure for your brand and your company because social media is one element and I understand, you know, that's what we're talking about, but also a bigger element too is having those connections outside. So I know you're in the medical field and stuff like that. Do you have <clears throat> people that either in the DMV that know, you know, the, the top DJs or the, the radio or, you know, clout in the DMV area or in New York area or Philly? Do you, do you know? Um, definitely. We actually linked in with a couple of guys in Philly, um, Park State Property and a couple of other entities. 
So I'm networking out. That's not the problem with networking. That's definitely actually working in my favor, it seems to be. Um, I got a couple of videographers who actually linked in with main artists, such as things, such as Fat Trail and um, another local artist, such as Killer Keisha. Like, we're networking well, but that traction that following. And I don't, it's not, not saying that I want to use their traction to gain their following, but it's like, it's nothing. Somewhere I'm selling, I'm selling along the lines and I can't seem to find exactly where it is that I'm selling at. You can't find exactly where you're selling? Is that what you said? Where I'm, where I'm selling. Like somewhere I'm dropping the ball. Okay. And I cannot find that hole. I cannot seem to find it. I keep going over the plan, keep replanning. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I don't know. I just keep coming back to this wall. I'm trying to think about what I could say, right? And I'm thinking about, mm -hmm. okay, I'm just trying to take everything in what you're saying. Because sometimes, honestly, to be completely honest, it, it does take time. It takes trial and error. And like you said, uh -huh. you're doing the networking. You know the people. And then you also said that you're not getting the local support. That was a huge yeah. thing. When you said that, I'm like, that probably has something to do with also the social media. Um, the analytics. Let me ask you this. With your following for the entertainment brand and also in Big Bank, yes, I'm going to go over that as well. And maybe she has done that. So I'm going to actually ask that. That's where I was going into with, with that. But who right now is, you said it's mainly family, friends and family. Do you have, um, on the artist side though, and I, I know on your page, it may be a little different, but on the artist side, uh, I forgot the name that you said, the the bigger artist, the artist that you're trying to focus on, I forgot his name, but where is most of his following coming from? Is it the DMV area? Is it the Northeast? Like, where where exactly are his followers now? Um, his actual following, forty one percent, is actually in the DMV area. Okay, twenty eight percent. Let me go back. I'm sorry. Yeah, forty seven percent is in the DMV area. Um, six point one percent is in New York. Three point eight percent is in Philly. 2.3 is in Atlanta, and 2.3 is in Toronto. Um, oh, overseas, 71% mm -hmm. is in the United Kingdom. 35% um, Russia Federation, and 2.0% Iraq, and 2.0% Canada. Okay. And that's just the social media. Um, and is that just Instagram, or is that his website as well? That's just solely Instagram. Oh, just Instagram. Okay. All right. So, um, now somebody in the comments mentioned this, and this is why I was asking about the data is where have you spent the money with advertising and promotion? Like where, where has that been and how has those results, have they turned into anything? Cause I know right now you're like, we're at a point where there's no growth. Have you been spending money or has it mainly been just organic, mostly organic reach and you've done, you know, you threw money here and there, but you haven't really um, got into an agency or you never, um, you guys haven't invested in a third party to handle the social media advertising. But yeah, give me a rundown of that. Um, the rundown of that is I haven't actually, um, I have, blah, blah, blah. I have not done the social media, like outsourcing to see another company yet. Cause I wanted to like organically do this before mm -hmm. we exhaust all our options in regards to promotion, honestly, I reached out to maybe, let me look back on my list so I can give you the exact number. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry. Um, six, I, I reached out to six groups in the last two months. No growth. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the growth that we gain is organic from our own promotion. Okay. And from shares from other, because um, the thing with engagement, what mm -hmm. I noticed mm -hmm. is when you um, ask them to do, they do it. The thing is you have to engage with them. So I do engage with them. That's not a problem. I ask them where they're from. I actually network with my fans. 
that's not the problem. So sharing is not a problem. I cannot grasp these followers. So that's it's like, problem. so they're not, they're, they're following you one week or they're really engaged in one week. And then all of a sudden they're starting to fall off or the con. <sighs> It may, I'm going to say this, it may have to do with the content. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to like, just keep it from the basic, basic point. It may okay. have to do with the content that you're producing on Instagram, because there are certain content that actually goes viral. And I'm going to put everybody on game right now. I'm telling Kim this information. I want you guys to understand this information too. Um, your following is going to go up and down with Instagram, like, or just any social media in general. It's not always consistent growing, 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 unless you already have a celebrity name behind it, then that's a little different. But most people, it, you know, it fluctuates day by day by day. Right. But I want to go over, um, and I have, let me see this. Um, I want to go over this list. I was actually going to do this in another video, but actually now that we're talking about it, um, I want to talk about it right now. Okay. Give me a second, you guys. I got to pull up my... Um, I have to pull up my um, my Instagram link. Let me, give me a second. Oh gosh, where is this? See, I wasn't prepared to talk about this, but I wanted to make sure I get this list because um Okay. Okay. I can't find it. I don't want to waste time. I'll just kind of talk about off the top of my head. What works on Instagram? There are certain there are certain posts that work on Instagram. There are posts that are entertaining. So those memes that people like to share, you know what I mean, that you see on the explore page when you go to search. So people like funny content. They like content with memes or just, you know, some type of, it, it evokes some type of emotion. Okay. So your content, when you're producing on Instagram, you got to think what type of emotion am I going to get from this besides, Oh, check out my music or, Oh, this is a great motivational quote. You got to dig deeper now because there's so much competition. And I had to learn this on artist hustles page too. There are certain things that work. So there are entertaining posts slash funny posts that you can be doing. Um, but if that's not your brand and you don't do it, you know what I mean? You don't, don't feel necessarily uh -huh. to have to do that, but that is, that's the type of post that actually go vi uh, viral on Instagram. If you do it right. Now, the other thing too is, um, an informational. So if you ever seen Instagram posts where you're like, gosh, this is good information. I want to save it. Right. Cause now Instagram lets uh -huh. you save things. Those type of posts, and we post this a lot on Instagram because this actually works, how to do something or tips or stuff like that, that type of stuff actually works. Now, when you're building um, music, <coughs> excuse me, a music band um, fan base, it's a little bit different because most of your followers are not going to want to know how to do something because that's probably not what you're, <laughs> they're not following you for that, right? But they are following you to evoke some type of emotion, whether it's um, videos and pictures. Let me actually go back to the content that you have been posting. Let me kind of analyze what you have been doing. Um, let me see. Hold on. Let me see what, you, what you've been doing. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. Because I can't go to all of them, but let me just kind of start in January. Whenever you started this year. And I'm also doing a social media review as well on um, the 22nd. <clears throat> so let me let me just kind of go over what she's been doing. Let's see here, because it has it, it's it's the content, and um, it may also just be hey Bert, thanks for joining Dream Maine, um, Layla, thanks for coming in, sweetheart. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so let's go all the way back to. June. No, I said June. <laughs> January. Oh, no, you don't have any posts in January. You started in February. Oh, okay. All right. Um, I just actually erased a lot of posts. Oh, okay. So it seems like, because she has about 75 posts right now, you guys. 
Um, and, and the link is in the YouTube channel right now. It's not in Instagram. It's on the YouTube channel. So, yeah. okay. Uh, all right. Let's see. Okay. Wait, I said I got you there. Okay. Okay. That's some video. Okay. That must be King. Okay. This must be the guy you were talking about. Uh -huh. feeling the show. Okay, this one was actually really good. Let's just kind of get engagement in this one. Let's see here. Yeah, with the There's a difference between an artist and a rapper and a okay. Um, let me ask you this. How often do you um does your page and um <laughs> I'm rude not to say hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> People are so funny on social media. Um, hello, how are you? Thanks for joining in. <laughs> People are so funny. Um, okay, so I'm sorry, that was funny. Okay, so I've seen videos. Let me just kind of just kind of click through this because I can't do a whole what is tell us? Okay, she's doing a video. Okay, that's a music video. It's a logo. Okay. Um, this is a real live session. Okay. okay. I mean, she's like, you guys, she's posting, um, pretty much every day at this point. It's not like she's missing like, a whole week or whatever. She's posting a lot. Um, okay. What I will say is, um, I must see his music video. Okay. I know there's dead silence, you guys. Just give me a second because I'm trying to look through some of these things. Okay. All right. So um, let me kind of click out of this. So. Ow. Okay. All right. Wicked Forever DC. Follow us, like, pics, leave a comment, check for yourself. Okay. I would change all of your bio, actually, to be completely honest. I would, I would do this. I would do this different. Um, I'm just uh -huh. analyzing this. So, um, okay. Follow us. What I would do inside of your bio, because this is your actual brand page, like where you're representing these artists. Um, I would uh -huh. mention them inside of my bio, meaning management, just, you know, put M G T and then tag those artists. You don't have to I don't know how many you have, but maybe the top three ones that you that have a good following, you may want to put those uh -huh. in there. You know what I mean? Then the other thing is, if you're an entertainment based company um, and you want people to contact you or just, you know, in general, you need to have an email address. Maybe, you know, maybe that would be a good idea to have inside of your bio is instead of saying follow us and like pictures, people kind of already know to do that um, and leave uh -huh. comments. So you want to get rid of all of that. That's kind of like get rid of all of that. That isn't, that's just a wasted space. So you put DC. What I would do instead is put hashtag Washington DC or put DMV music or hashtag um, DC uh, music or DMV artists or, you know, some, something like that. Instead of just putting DC, I would put a hashtag there. So then at least that's kind of like rotating there. The other thing too is what I would do, this is a great content idea is every single week since you're in the DMV area and this is your hometown, I would find artists and shout them out that you, you're not even, check out their music, obviously, uh -huh. and find them on social media and figure out a weekly series that you can shout out the DMV artists because every artist want to be featured. Let me tell you something. When you start to do this, now it may take a while, but I'm telling you, this will grow. If you're consistent and you do it well, what you can call it is um, 
uh, I don't know, come up with a name. I can't come up with the name for you. Just come up with a cool <laughs> name. And this is for the DMV artists only. Tag a whole bunch of DMV artists or tag Philly artists or whatever you want to do. Maybe those same regions that are inside of your following, you do a weekly uh -huh. series to get people to start tagging and want to shout out, whether it's in your stories or on um, you repost their latest, uh, let's see, music video. You know, I used to do this segment called I Hustle Heart Artists of the Week. And we stopped doing that because um, <laughs> some people have extremely inappropriate content and I don't, I'm really careful about what I post. So, but if you don't have a filter and you're just like, whatever goes, goes, then that may be a good way to, you know, get people like, oh, let me check out her account. I know every week she's going to be posting a DMV artist that's up and coming. That would be a great way to get some content and get people saying, oh, I would love to check in on what she has going on. Does that make sense? I think that's a great idea yeah. to get you going and just, you know, but you got to do some homework and you got to figure out a nice name to it and then promote it ahead of time. So let's say you do it every Friday. Because, you know, oh, or you could do it every Monday because there's a thing called um, New Music Monday or Music Monday or something like that or um, uh -huh. whatever you want to do it. But you want to make it yours. So you can also do it um, Wicked Wednesdays. And that's when you pro, you know what I mean? Like do, do yeah. something creative, right? And then at least uh -huh. start to shout out. And this doesn't have to just be musicians. It can also be producers. Okay, Kim? So I think start to think, what can I do to give back to the DMV on social media instead of saying, well, the followers are not coming in. Well, give back to people who you don't even know or who are not even following you right now. And I think if you start to think like that, and then you also start to follow hashtags inside of the DMV and comment on them. So I know you've been doing a lot of hashtags. So she, you guys, if you go look on her stuff, she's posting, um, DMV creatives, be more, um, DMV hip hop. So what I would su suggest you do, Kim, is 30 minutes a day, starting tomorrow, uh -huh. go inside of these hashtags you're using inside of your posts and go comment on them and go say, you know, and obviously if they have good content, that's where you slide into the DMs and you say, you know, what? I love what you're doing or, you know, I'm starting this new segment. You know, I would love to talk to you about blah, 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 blah. You only want quality people, right? But I think you uh -huh. starting to do this, this will help your social media, especially organically, right? So I'm trying to think of anything else. Um, Another cool thing you could do too is partner up with a studio. So you said, you said that you don't have issues with networking. Well, what I need you to do is use those offline connections and turn them to online connections. So everybody that you know personally, get them not just to follow you, <clears throat> but also repost your content on their pages, okay? Because this will double the engagement organically. If they already like your content and they support your business, then get them to repost. And then you do the same thing. If you um, are working with, um, I don't know, a, let's say you know a mom and pop shop in the DMV. And they're like, you know what? We love Kim. We love what she's doing. Well, people love crabs. I know the crab boss now. I need to go go check them out. They're in the DMV area. So if you partner with even, it doesn't always have to be music. It can just be local businesses that everybody loves, like Capital, uh, I think the Mumble Sauce Company, I think they're based in DC, but just stuff like that, like really supporting the local businesses online and shouting them out or um, just partnering with them and reposting their content, them reposting you as well. There's also a website. I know I'm throwing a lot at you, right? I talk really fast. Hopefully I'm not going over your head. <laughs> you're okay. No, you're good. <laughs> okay. There is, um, I don't know if you're on the website or not, but there is a website called DMV. Um, I think it's, hold on, let me see if I can Google it real quick. And you guys, even though I'm talking to Kim in the DMV, this can be for Nashville. This can be for Atlanta. This can be for Nash. Um, this can be for, uh, Ohio, Cleveland. It could be for any place, but you guys have to use your social media to help other people. And that's how you get the following. It's not just by um, posting and posting and posting. How can you give back to your community to get eyes on what you're doing, to get back eyes on um, what they're doing as well? People just want to help each other out. I'm telling you. Um, let's see. Uh, okay. There's a website. Let me actually type it in the uh, YouTube. This is called DMV Life. Now, when I first started Artist Hustle, I used to go on this website and be on the forms. They have forms for DMV events, DMV businesses, photographers, everything in the DC area, in the Maryland, Virginia area. 
please check out that website and start to get engaged. Post your content. Get your artists to post on that content. I think they even have competitions. Wow, I'm giving a lot of information. They're posting a lot of, you know, co um, competitions, stuff like that. Maybe this will also help your engagement. And sometimes I think um, what they used to do a couple years back was if you had a post that was popular enough, they would actually repost you on their Instagram and on their Facebook to kind of help you. And that's what I did in the beginning when I was doing my YouTube channel. I was really focusing on the DMV area because that's when I started Artist Hustle was when I was back here uh, back in 2015. So that was a lot. I hope that that helped you and start to get you to in, in the mindset of, okay, maybe I can try some new things. Maybe I can, even my artists can start to try new things. So does, does that help? <laughs> <laughs> it definitely did. Yes. Thank you, thank you. You're gonna want to rewatch this video. Your, um, yeah. Directions the last time, huh? I followed your directions the last time in regards to en an engagement, and that helps. So it's like I can't be scared to ask questions, and I can't be scared to admit my failures on this. Yeah, I gotta figure this out one way or another. And Kim, you please, and then you're you're in the same city as me as well. So also. Um, I think you should also have a segment of what's going on in the DMV. Like every weekend, are there, um, are there showcases? Are there events? Are there, you know, different stuff like that? Like just promoting completely, completely the DMV. Like you need to be the plug for the DMV. You know what I mean? Because if this is going to yeah. be a home base, then you got to think outside of, Oh, I'm trying to get a fan base for my um my 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 uh what is it my artist? You have to be the plug where okay I go to Kim's page because she knows everything that's going on in the DMV. She knows everything that's and then you branch out and now you're starting to learn about Philly and now you're learning about New York and now you're learning about you know but get really really good about everything that's going on in the DMV, promoting it, shouting it out. Um, tagging DJs and you know one of my favorite um, radio stations which is WPGC 95.5 you know you have Tony Riggs mm -hmm. on there stuff like that like repurpose things and, and then follow people that are posting about the DMV and following them and tagging them and it, it's a lot of work I'm not gonna lie but honestly if you rewatch this video I know we're talking on the phone right now but if you rewatch it on um, not on Instagram it's probably gonna be on YouTube because Instagram will take it off but rewatch this on YouTube and I know, Kim, if you do this for the next six months to the, the, the uh -huh. end of this year, you're going to see results. I'm telling you guys. And I, I cannot wait to go back to her page in a couple of months and be like, Kim, did you do what I told you to do? Right? Like, so hopefully she does. Right? You guys? Like, hopefully, Kim. Hey, everybody on um, Instagram. <laughs> so, oh, Tony says I got to rewatch the video. I got to get back to work. Hey, Layla. Okay. So... Yeah, let me know in the comments, you guys. Um, was this helpful? You know what I mean? Um, do you have any other like tips or anything else you want to give out or any other shout outs that you have going on, Kim? Um, right now we do have Jay Blunt. He will be definitely be on DMV affiliate. Okay. Um, that's A F F I L A T E Z. Um, he got an interview, a whole spread going on with them tomorrow. So be sure to check them out. And we're definitely you're definitely going to be saying our name. That's good. That's good. Yes. You need to be on there and, you know, just, just do it. I mean, honestly, I think slowly build it up organically. You got to sit down and make time. The way I build out Artist Hustle and people are like, oh my gosh, you know, how did you do it? It's so easy for you to say it right now. I'm like, honestly, compared to other accounts, I'm still little. But uh -huh. I put in the work and I, I was consistent and I was patient. I always tell people, when it's social media, you need to be consistent, but you also have to be patient. And sometimes it's hard for people because they're like, gosh, I'm not getting the following. Gosh, it's not working. I'm posting every day. I'm using these hashtags. I'm tagging people. Why is it not working? I always ask them, what are you doing for the same people that you want to follow you? What are you doing for them? And every time I ask them that, they're not doing a daggone thing. They're not shouting anybody out. They're, it's all about them and what they have going on. They're not giving to the same community they want support from. And I think when you have that mentality, people come flocking to you. And I think that's why our Instagram ended up blowing up because I started to think, I don't care about what Artist Hustle wants to do. I care about what people need help with. And once I became that mentality, it's just been 
<laughs> uphill from there, right? And so even this this year, I'm dedicating once a month. We're doing free social media reviews. So that's something you could even do. Let's say you really love the DMV music. There are people that are doing music reviews and just saying, submit your music. And for one hour on a Friday night, we're going to review your music live on Instagram. And we're going to give you real feedback. People love watching stuff like that. You know what I mean, Ken? So there's so yeah. many different content ideas that you can do. But I'm so excited for you. I really hope you're pumped up and you're going to, you know, you're going to go hard for your company. Um, so, yeah, I appreciate you being on here. I don't know if anybody else has any other questions or want to talk to me tonight. But, um, yes, Kim, you can do it. You can do it. You can definitely do this. Thank you, Debbie. Yeah, you can do this. And I, I, I can't wait to uh, hear from you again. And you're like, oh, yeah, I took, I took your advice and it worked. And we, we got this thing going. And I'm like, yay. <laughs> Y'all remember Kim being on my show. Yes. <laughs> yeah, definitely hear back from me, Debbie. Thank you Go so ahead. much. No for this. I really appreciate you taking the time out. Yes. Have a good night, sweetheart. Have a good night. You as well. So, you guys, that was a good conversation. Tell me in the comments, did you guys like that conversation? Because that was amazing. Thank you so much, Kim, for joining me. Does anybody else want to say hey to me? Now, you don't have to have questions. You could just say, hey, hey, Duffy. I always wanted to talk to you. Um, this is the time to do it. Because if not, I'm going to head off here. Y'all know, know I got stuff to do. I got stuff to do. I got stuff to do. But, yes, look. It doesn't matter if you're starting with 200 followers or 500 followers. You guys can do this. But if you start to think of the mentality, how can I give back to the fans that I want the same advice? This can happen. It doesn't matter where you're at, okay? So um, I appreciate Kim, Kim getting on here, asking her question. Not That's the other thing, too, you guys. If you guys want this big following or you guys want big things in life, don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid. And let me tell you something. I don't have all the answers. That's why I kept asking Kim, okay, what is your company? What do you do? I'm just sitting, I'm using my little brain and I'm like, okay, 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 okay. Debbie, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There's gotta be something inside that I could give her that maybe she hasn't been doing. So the more information she gave me, I said, I think I know what you could do. And now it's up to her to test that idea and to come up with her own ideas and push her following and push her business. So I'm excited for Kim. Um, I'm dedicating this episode to you, Kim, and your um, company. So I'm really excited for you. Make sure that you guys follow her and support her. The link was in the bio, either here or here. You know, I don't know how YouTube does this thing once I get off live. But um, yes, hey, everybody on Instagram. Thanks for joining, sweethearts. Okay. So does anybody have any other questions? Any other questions? No other questions? Let me know. I'm going to give you guys a minute or so while I drink this water. But yes, that was really good. That was a great conversation. Very positive. Hey, Isaac. Hey, Zeph. <clears throat> Tony. I know he came in and had to go to work. So yes, you're going to probably definitely want to... Um, watch rewatch this video i'm telling you guys you're gonna want to rewatch and go ahead and like this video if you didn't already like it you need to go ahead and like and if you're on instagram you need to go ahead and that heart button that heart button um <laughs> uh yeah so oh there was some feedback so big bank says um if you can get them all 600 followers to pay a hundred dollars a year that's sixty thousand dollars that's better than a million followers to pay. Oh, that's a million followers paying you nothing. The content thumbnails I see on the Instagram page isn't driving me to click the content. It may be good, but it doesn't make me want to click through. Okay, so that is some, some insight. You guys go check out her Instagram, connect with her. You guys give great content. And I, and I think that's really good critical um, feedback, but I appreciate that, Big Bang. I really do. So, um, does anybody else want to call in and talk to me? Let me see on Instagram. Hey. <laughs> hey, Tony. Hey, 303. Oh, my goodness. So many of y'all was on here tonight. This is this part two on Instagram. You know, Instagram going to cut me off. Let me know on YouTube. Does anybody else have any other questions? Um, I'm about to follow you on my other page. Yay! Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, Free. Free always comes on here and supports. Free always does that. Free always does that. 
Y'all check out Kim's Instagram. And if you guys have any other great tips for her, go ahead and send her a DM and say, hey, I checked you out on um, Instagram. No, I said Instagram. I checked you out on Artist Hustle and I just want to connect with you. I want to help you or I know some tips. You guys, I don't have all the answers. I will never claim to know everything, but I do know what works for me and what's been working for the community that I've been building. And that's where I can pull from. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because, you know, the hearts, you know, they're virtual love, right? They're virtual kisses and love. And I love that. So I, I appreciate when people um, show their support. So does anybody else want to call in and talk to me um, just real quick before I head off here? Let me know. <clears throat> Oh, Sin says, as a creative in a small town, um, how do I go about networking outside of social media? I can always go back to Miami for a weekend or two. Oh, Sin. Sin, can you actually can you actually talk on the phone tonight? Because um <laughs> I understand that question, but at the same time, I'm also thinking to myself, okay. She said a mouthful. She said, oh, okay, you're creative in a small town. Okay. You want to network outside of social media. So obviously that's going to be you going to, um, you're taking your DMs and emails and, and definitely, um, well, send, drop in your, drop in your phone number and we can definitely talk. Hey D, thanks for joining on Instagram. Thanks for joining everybody on Instagram. I know Instagram cuts me off and all this other stuff. But I'm also live on YouTube as well. If you guys want to watch me on dual screens. <laughs> so you want to go ahead and do that. Why did I make that face? Um, Sin, go ahead and put in your um, phone number. I will delete it immediately. Like, I'll just go ahead and delete that. But go ahead and put in. Um, hey, Lace. Thanks for joining, um, sweetheart. Okay. So, yeah. Sin, go ahead and drop your number. We can talk real quick. Um, good. All right. I think I have it here. All right. Cool. All right, let's talk to Sin. Well, she'll probably tell me how to pronounce her actual name because obviously I've been calling her Sin. I don't think that's how you pronounce her name. So let's see how that goes. <laughs> so hello. He said dual screens. Yes, right? <laughs> dual screens. Hello. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. Oh, yes. Hi. <laughs> She's too funny. It's uh -oh. hilarious. All right, free. I'll see you. I'll see you on the next slide. Um, <clears throat> is that Sin? Hello, can you hear me? I can't hear her. For some reason I can't hear. Her. Hi. Yes, I can hear you. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Good. Okay. Well, first of all, um, go ahead and introduce yourself. Who are you? What do you do? Where do you live? Blah 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 blah. I know you were in the comments, but just in case somebody's rewatching this, um, I would definitely want you to shout yourself out. So go ahead, tell everybody who you are. Hello, everyone. My name is Samaria. Um, I am a singer and dancer based in South Carolina. Um, basically, what I was saying is, as a creative, it can get very discouraging when you live in such a small town where there's pretty much no action. So that's why I asked, like, how can I network with, you know, other people outside of this uh, small town? What city did you outside say again? Uh, Salisbury. Salisbury. Oh, Maryland. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Um, hmm. What well, do you visit? Do you visit? How far are you from the capital? How far are you from the capital? Uh, I want to say about three to four hours. Okay. Is that the closest? Um, is that the closest metropolitan um, city to you? Or is there another one closer to you? <clears throat> That's pretty much the closest. Okay. And how, let yeah. me ask you this too. I'm going to ask you a lot of questions, okay? So just be, just be ready. I'm going to ask you a lot of questions because I want to know, I want to analyze where you're at. So okay. where have you um, traveled to outside of Salisbury and um, DMV? Are you able to go and... <laughs> she said that's four hours. Are you able to go to events okay. and meet up with people? Are you flexible with traveling wise? Let's talk about that. Um, okay. The thing is with that is that I'll have to run it by my parents so that way they can actually help me out. 
um, okay. with the traveling. Okay. Because I'm not able to at the moment. Are you a minor? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm 19. I'm still young, but. Oh, okay. I, I had to ask because yeah. I'm like, if she's like 15, I'm going to be like, oh, f- first of all, <laughs> we're going to have a whole nother conversation because no, you should not be at these industry events by yourself. Um, <laughs> So, okay. She's okay. You, you just got legal. You just got, oh, she's still a baby. This is so cute. Okay. So, um, 19. You still live with your your parents. Your are you in school? Are you uh, uh, you're not doing? Are you doing music full time? Are you working? Like what? What's your situation? If you don't mind me asking. Um. Well, I'm actually in the process of freelancing and um, starting up some of my business ideas. Okay. Um. I currently live. I don't live with my parents at the moment. I oh. moved out to live in student housing for college. Okay. But. You know, my parents are, are still in the same town. I just, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, <clears throat> so if you don't live with them, then mm-hmm. then what is it? Um. Okay. 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 I'm gonna get off the personal. I'm gonna get back to the business. So okay. right now, have you registered for any industry base or networking events in person in the DMV? this year have you done that um no i have not however there is one that's coming to my actual town okay um later in this month okay and you're going and you're registered absolutely okay so what is it what exactly is the the um the event you don't have to say the name of it but is it networking is it a showcase is it what exactly is it you know what type of event is it Right. So, um, some of it is networking, but it's also like a music business one-on-one type of class. Oh, it's a class. Um, okay. yes. Okay. So basically there's people coming from, um, different states to come to this event and they'll basically speak on their experience being in the music industry, what to look out for, um, talking about, um, royalties and different stuff like that. Okay. And have you, let me ask you this. If you are taking your time and you're going to this event, be honest with me. Have you done your research on all of the speakers that are going to be at the event? And have you also, part two, have you also connected with them on social media? Um, no. To both questions? I, yeah. Okay. See, when I saw the event, it was actually on Eventbrite. Okay. So there, it's not really telling me who the speakers are going to be. I only know who's actually hosting um, this um, event. So mm-hmm. I followed her on uh, Instagram, but I didn't reach out or anything. That's that's okay. So let's start there. Let's start. Okay. Hey, you said you want to. You said you want to network. So let's just start with the basics. You're going to this event. When is the event? You said when? Yeah, when. Oh, uh, March 24th. Okay, you got a couple weeks. So March 24th, you're going to this event. You don't know who's going to necessarily be speaking at this event, but you have registered. You, you, you know, you're committed to doing this, and you haven't reached out to the host. Step number one, I need you to reach out to the host. Um, you said you're following her on Instagram, so or I shouldn't assume it's a her, but um, you're following the host on Instagram. So go ahead. Before you DM her, before you slide in those DMs, like her com. No, no, no. I'm I'm being serious. Like her comment. See, you know what she's po- actually. If she's a good host, she should be tagging the people, and she should already be pre-promoting this event even months ago. So you should actually be seeing who's coming to this event if she's legit and if she really has a great roster of people because that's what um the big brands do they also always always tell people these are the people who are coming they're tagging them in the photos so go and go back to her instagram tonight or tomorrow just in case it's a little too late okay. go to her instagram start to just follow what she's doing just before you start to reach out to her once you do that let's say she you know you start liking her photos you're like oh this is really cool comment on a couple of them especially, you know, ones that are really cool. And then you go slide in those DMs. So what you say in those DMs when you, when you, or, or, or 
You can do both. You can do DMs and you can also do email. So when you guys are connecting on um, LinkedIn, I said LinkedIn. I always want to say LinkedIn because that's what I'm always on. But Instagram, when you're on Instagram, it's really important to not just focus on the DM. Now, the DM is like a text message now because it dings to your phone like a text unless you turn off the notification. But it's a really cool and powerful tool. But there may be an email address inside of her bio or her website. So I would suggest you do both. So just reach out to her really short and sweet. I'm going to tell you what to say. Or you can make up your own version, but I'll, I'll kind of help you. I'll walk you through this. You say, hey, my name is, you know, you tell you know, tell her who your name is. You know, um, I'm really excited. Just Don't even mention that you're a singer or songwriter just yet, because obviously she probably already knows. I'm really excited to be coming to your event. I'm I'm been trying to connect with so many great people. So I really appreciate gravy. Like put, you know, make her feel good, right? This is what you do when you network with people. You say, oh yeah, I really appreciate what you're doing. I'm so excited yeah. to meet and, and connect with people. And then you just ask one quick question, right? One quick question. You say to her or the, the host, whatever it is, um, <clears throat> I have a quick question. Who exactly will be um, speaking? What are the the, uh, the speakers? Because I want to actually connect with them on social media and start to follow them. And um, then that way I'll understand who they are. And what, no, 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 no. That's a little bit too long. Let me, let me shorten that. The question that you need to ask her is, could you um, send me a flyer or could you um, send me a list of uh, the people or a link, a link? of the people that are actually going to be at the event and talking inside of the class, because I'm really excited and I want to start connecting and um, be ready to talk about different things or just something similar to that. Obviously just keep it short and sweet. Um, I can't tell you exactly what to say, but I think you understand what I'm saying. So just who you are, you're so excited. You appreciate her hosting the event and um, you just are looking for more information on who is going to be talking so that you can connect with them on social media. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see you. That's it. That's your DM or that's your email. OK, it's really needs to be simple right. and, and short. Don't worry about pitching like, hey, I'm a songwriter and I'm a. Mm. you don't need to do all that. When you see them in person, that's when you start to talk and you, you know, but. Let me tell you something. People already know you're probably in the industry because that's why you're going to the class. So, you know, skip all that. So that's, <laughs> she's laughing. That's what you should do, right? So once you right. um reach out to this host and you DM her, hopefully you get a message before the 24th. Hopefully she actually responds back. I think she will if she's a good host. And then the other thing I need you to do is if you're worried about being in a small town, um, I did a video and I'm actually going to link it inside of the YouTube channel right now. Let me actually find it. I did a whole YouTube video on how to um, connect and <clears throat> build a following if you live in a small town. And there was a, there was a question actually that was inside of my Instagram and somebody asked me about that. And I said, you know, there are different ways to do it. And, um, it actually ended up being a great video. And um, so let me actually try to find that link so that you can, and anybody else that's watching this too, um, that lives in a, in a smaller town, or, but you're nearby other towns. But that was why I was asking you, how um, flexible are you to travel, even if it's mega bus or maybe you don't get on the airplane? You know, I don't know how big of a budget you have with traveling. So that's why I was asking about that. Um, right. Let's see here. Hey, DJ, thanks for joining, sweetheart. Um, okay, so let me see if I can try to find this video. How to get your music heard if you live in a small town. This is it here. So I, I posted this almost two years ago. Wow, it's almost been two years. <laughs> that was a minute ago. Yeah, yeah, that was, oh gosh, that was a minute ago. Lord, look at my face. Oh, okay, so um, yeah, this is it here. Let me actually put it in the so that everybody can watch this. And look, you guys, this video is great whether you live in a big town or a small town, honestly, but obviously it's catered to somebody that lives in a small town. So um, sweetheart, check that out. I just put it in the chat box. So when you get a chance, okay. go ahead and um, save it, put it in your save later or whatever, if you're not able to just watch it real quick, but put in your little YouTube um, watch later or something like that playlist. I don't know how YouTube works or whatever. But anyways, that, so, okay. I wanted to make sure I answered your actual question. So we talked about 
you said you're creative in a small town. How do I go back? Okay, you're going back to Miami for a weekend or two. When are you going back to Miami? You know, I was basically saying that I can um, because I'm from Miami, so it's really no problem for me to actually go down there. Um, okay. It's just towards um, networking with people when it comes down to um, my music. Okay. So, okay. Like, I, like I'm like seeing all these different events and stuff that are going to be happening. You know, summer is the biggest time where all of these events happen. Um. So if I could just find somewhere to just go down there and observe or actually try to perform or, I don't know, <laughs> things well, that I am in the beginning stages. If you're in the beginning stages, I mean, honestly, they have deadlines for performances. So right now, this is the week for South by Southwest. That's in Austin, Texas, one of the biggest conferences out there. Um, but if you're focused on the Miami market, um, <clears throat> excuse me, and you're able to go down there more often than you are to Washington, D.C., is that what you're saying? Because I don't want to start going down that path if that's not what you're saying. Are you saying it's easier for you to go to Miami than it is D.C.? Because then that needs to be your focus. Yes, it is. Okay. Wait here. Okay. So because it's way easier to get to Miami, it's cool that you're going to this 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 music base. And I really hope this music uh, class goes well for you, sweetheart. Um, it's cool that you're going to that. I think, you know, um, since you're, fo you're focusing off social media and you want to make real connections, then I think what you need to do is mostly is your most of your family inside of the Miami area. Yeah. OK, cool. All right. So this is perfect. What I need you to do now, does anybody else in your family know industry connections in the Miami area or Fort Lauderdale? I used to live down there. So I know my brother actually is a DJ down there and he he's on radio in Miami. So I, I know a thing about Miami. Okay. Cause I went to school down there and uh, not in Miami, right. but I went to school in um, about an hour South of um, Florida. Uh, what is it? Orlando. Um, it's, the space coast. I went to school out there. So, um, I, oh. I lived in Florida for seven years. So I, <laughs> I know how Florida <laughs> is. So I get it. And I've moved around uh, all over the place. So that's cool. Okay. So if you're able to get to Miami more often then you need to create a game plan for 2019 to focus on connecting with people in Miami. And when you're there, you need to create a plan. When I'm inside of Miami, what am I doing? Like you said, you can go for a weekend, right? So you need right. to, <clears throat> because you said you went on eventbrite.com, then now instead of focusing your energy on Washington, D.C., now you got to focus on Miami. And the other thing, too, is I don't know if you're following um, hashtags for Miami events or Miami networking or even um, the record labels and stuff like that, because why are you trying to network? Let's just let's just break back it all the way up. Why are you trying to network right now? Like, what is it? it that you're trying to get from meeting all these people? What are you trying to do? Um, oh, I guess more insight about um, what I'm getting myself into and also um, putting myself out there. Okay. What are you getting yourself into? That's really generic. What do you mean by that? Um, pretty much any advice. Okay. Any, any advice that I can get, I'm always willing to learn. You know, okay. being that I am starting out, you know, from scratch. So I have to learn as much as I can um, while I'm in while I'm in the beginning stages before I start making any, uh, I guess, uh, expanding my budget into doing different things. If that makes any sense, I don't know. Huh. It, make, it makes sense. It makes sense. I'm just trying to <laughs> figure out where you're at so then I'm not giving you, you know, I'm like, oh, yeah, so just do this. And I'm like. I don't know what she's doing. So no, I want to understand where you're at. So I think honestly, going to events is great. But also I think if you're looking, if you're looking for advice now, I've never, I don't know. I know you said you're starting off. You're just, you know, you're just now starting off or whatever it is. Have you ever hired, um, cause they have these things. I shouldn't say these things, these services, <laughs> 
call <laughs> I'm just really blunt. They have this these services that people have on Instagram and, and YouTube and just in general where they call it consulting, right? So what they do is they get on the phone with you for an hour, Skype or the phone or whatever it is, and they talk to you about your um your brand, your social media, or if you just need generic advice about your career. Have you looked into that avenue? Have you actually hired anyone? Have you been on a free consulting? Um, hey, Glenn, thanks for joining us, sweetheart. Uh, have you been on any type of consulting calls or coaching calls for the music business or just in general? No, I have not. Okay. That may be something you want to do. And I know most of that is not in person, but maybe what you can also do is um, if you end up meeting with people in Miami, right? And um, <clears throat> they have time for a quick coffee or they have time for um, to meet you at a club or or to meet you at a, well, then again, <laughs> it's going to be certain clubs you can't get into, but uh, there's going to be certain clubs you can get into, certain <laughs> clubs you can't get into. But um, I will say this. You, you, um, you got to come up with a game plan and, and let me just, let me wrap this up. Let me kind of wrap this up so you can have some real things that you can do. And this is for anybody, honestly. Um, oh, Instagram's about to cut me off again. Here we go. Part three. Um, so what I would suggest you do when you're done watching this video, what I need you to do okay. is I need you to do the first step, which I mentioned, go follow that lady, go, go back to her Instagram send her a DM. I'm, I'm just going to give you spa really basic things to go ahead and do. Instead of us just talking, just to talk, I want you guys, I want you to take action. So go ahead and do that. Message her, you know, mention what I was talking about before. Rewatch the video if you, you know, can't remember, but I think you, you pretty much understood what I was saying. And then once you do that, um, start to follow hashtags and look up events inside of Miami. What I would suggest you do, sweetheart, is at least once a month, Put on your Google calendar or on your phone and you need to be, since you said you can go to Miami so often, at least once or twice a month, you need to be going to events. Okay. Now, does okay. it, does it have to be all about music? No, it does not have to be all about music. I think <clears throat> sometimes some of the best events that you go to <laughs> sometimes has nothing to do with music, but you're also in a business environment, but they can teach you things like mindset. They can teach you things about how you can network and, um, and stuff like that. But if that's what you're looking for, you're looking for more of an educational environment, then those are the type of events you need to be seeking. Right. But if you're also just trying to connect with different players, like uh, when I say players, meaning um, people oh, no. that are in the industry that are making moves that are in Miami that you actually could connect with because you're able to be, you know, accessible there more than it is in the DMV area, then those are the type of events you want to go to. So maybe there's a happy hour, obviously legally you can't drink at a bar, but it maybe they have social events that you can just go to, you know what I mean? And then that's another way for you guys, for you to get your name out there is not just going to educational and classes, but social events, um, that that will teach you and that will give you opportunities to continue to work on your um your pitch because who you are what you do and why somebody should care it should be a part of your 30 second pitch when you're talking to people and i did a video about this too i don't know if you were actually on the live stream were you on the live stream no you weren't okay you got no. some homework to do you need to rewatch that sweetheart so there was a there was a video that i did it wasn't that long ago i'm gonna actually put it in the in the the link this helps you okay. with your pitch when you start to talk to people it can be it can be a lot but if you start to have the right mindset meaning i'm i'm making friends more than i'm networking right because i never really like using that word but it's, it's a term that everybody uses Think about it as I want to make friends with this person and I have something of value that I want to share, but I also want to know what they're doing. So it's a give and take. It's not just a take, 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 take. It's also, right. uh, it's, you have to be giving too. Maybe there's something that you know that you can offer this person or you can just, <clears throat> excuse me, you just have to know what ex what exactly you're going to that event for. And that is why it's so important to research people before you go to these events. Like people are going to South by Southwest to turn up. 
you don't want to just go to stop by stuff. What's the turn up? You want to go with an intention to say, you know what? I'm going to do an impromptu performance. I'm going to shoot some videos out there. I'm going to meet with so-and-so every single day. I'm going to be shooting new video content and social media connections. I'm going to turn my um, online Instagram followers and I'm going to do a meetup with my followers. Like you have to be very strategic about how you're meeting people, why you're meeting them and what you do once you meet them. Okay. So, right. um, okay. Yeah, let me actually send you, this is the 30 second elevator pitch. And I'm going to put this, a lot of, um, it went well. It went really well. I don't know if I'm going to do another one, to be completely honest, um, <laughs> because it, it did go well, but I want to make sure people watch it. And if, you know, the demand is there, I may do another one. So, um, but yeah, let me actually put that in here. 30 second pitch. There's a lot of videos on here. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> and I have to like go back through the library of videos because I just, it's a lot. So was there anything else besides like, oh, I need to get to events and stuff like that. I need you to create. Oh, that's the fourth thing. I need you to create. Um, a, I think that was the last thing I told you to do. So once or twice a month, you have to put something in your calendar that you're going to go to for the rest of this year. We're in March. So you have. March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So you got about, you got over, um, you got, oh, excuse me, sorry. You, you have about nine months, depending on if you take off holidays, you have about, a, you know, you, you got some time, you got some time and summer, like you said, is, is a really big one. So if you want to hit it hard in the summer and then in the fall, you kind of take it a little bit easy. You start to just you know, work on following up with these people. Because one thing you don't want to do, Sin, is network with people and then never talk to them ever again. Or follow them right. on social media and then you guys never connect ever again. You don't want to do that. There needs to be a process to um, following up, connecting with them. And I can also do a whole series on this because I know people are like, gosh, I don't know how to do it. I know I should be doing it, but how do I actually do it? So if that is something you guys want to know, put it in the comments and I can definitely break that down a little bit more specifically. So, um, but yes, let me run back over before we get off the phone. This is what I need you to okay. do. Get with the host, send her a DM and send her an email. See if she has a website, go ahead and do that. Then you also need to follow those people that are going to go to this DMV, um, music business class on the 24th. I think you said the 24th. Um, go ahead and start connecting with that. That's the, you know, that's okay. that. Then the other thing you must do is you need to start to follow hashtags and people in Miami on Instagram. You need to be finding out what is going on and, you know, um, <clears throat> what type of music do you actually do? What type of music? I never even asked you. I don't know if you mentioned it or not. Um, I'm looking into doing R&B. Okay. So R&B urban. Okay. Okay, cool. So what I would suggest yeah. you do is, um, you need to look into, um, there is Miami music week uh, that's coming up. If you're on my email list, then I promote and I, I share this content that I don't put on YouTube. So everybody that loves my YouTube stuff, they get on the VIP list, which is the email list. And I send exclusive content on tools and, and resources and, and lists and stuff like that. So make sure that you're on that list, because if you're not, you're not going to get this content. You're going to have to try to figure it out on your own, which you can, but it just may take you a little bit longer. So um, make sure that you sign up for it. If you Are you on our email list? Are you on the VIP list? No, I'm not. I have not. to. Um, okay. Yeah, you, you put down the link and I, yeah, I have to go back on there or whatever. But you actually put out a picture of different venues um, for events that are happening in this month. And that's actually how I found out about SXSW. Good. That's great. Yeah, we yeah. have one that's coming up for um, April. I got to work on my social media guy. We got to, <laughs> we need to get that out because it's, it's already March and I, I normally like to be a month ahead of time or at least two months ahead of time. So we need to drop April and then we need to drop May events all over the country. So, um, okay. yeah. So yeah. And stuff like that, like, you know, looking into, um, you know, using Instagram and finding events and stuff like that, that is what you need to be doing. And so create a hit list. And like you mentioned that before. So when you use that term, I was like, Oh, is she using the same term that I was? So yeah, create your hit list and inside of, oh. inside of Instagram, <laughs> no, seriously, inside of Instagram, create a collection, like yeah. do the little bookmark or whatever and say Miami, you know what I mean? Like just do a whole Hey, all stars. Thanks for joining sweetheart. 
um, do a whole Instagram collection for Miami base. That's it. And then if you want to, you can do something for the DMV too. So just create a separate folder for the DMV. Let's say you just find some events or you find some cool people that you want to eventually connect with, put them in, save one of their posts and then put them in that collection. Okay. So okay. I think okay. if you do these different things and you do it consistently, you should see some type of results at the end of the day. Hopefully this was helpful to you. Was it helpful? Was it a lot? I yes, hope it didn't... was. I mean, even though it's a lot of information because it's something that I really want to do, it's like, this is better than homework, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Look, I love that. That makes me happy. She said this is better than homework. Look, I remember those days, honey. I was in school. I remember them days. Heck, I almost got kicked out of school. I was so done with school. That's a whole nother story. But um, yeah, thank <laughs> I didn't get kicked out. But uh, yeah, I was done. I was I was like, I'm just ready to get to work. I'm just ready to just do this. But school, enjoy it. That's what I'm gonna say is enjoy this journey. Don't rush it because everything that you're supposed to do, even if you don't end up staying with music. You find out, you know, there's something else that you want to do. Just be present in this moment and celebrate what you're doing and just go hard. Go, go after it. And don't, don't be afraid of failing. Don't be afraid of asking dumb questions. Don't be afraid of looking naive. Just know, <clears throat> believe in your gut because your gut will never, for the most part. Now, I don't know. Everybody's a little different, but for the most part, you know, what's right. You know, what's wrong. Just do what you're supposed to do at the end of the day. And I think you'll be okay at the end of the day. You will be fine. So I'm glad that you were, you know, brave, and, brave enough to get on here um, and talk to me on Q&A Friday. Hey. <laughs> oh, definitely. I have no room to be scared. Yes. I, th <laughs> look, there's a lot of people that they come on the live streams and they never talk to me. Now, I'm not going to call out certain people, but I know your names, but I'm not going to call you out. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, no, I'm not. Um, so I just, I just like when people are willing to go the extra mile and say, you know what? I'm willing to talk. Cause I want to, I want to get to the next level. I can't be scared and want more. I have to put out right. what I, what I want to get out. So I love it. And I can't, what you guys need to connect with her. Where's your, um, did you put your social media in the links? Did you? Oh, sure. I'll yeah. Put my new Right put now. your put your Instagram or any other thing that you have going. I always tell people, Artist Hustle is not about Debbie yakking her mouth. I really want you guys to be connecting and promoting each other. I don't want to just be on here giving out tips and advice. And, you know, there's so many other YouTubers doing that. And I, I don't, this is not why I started this. This is not why I'm doing what I'm doing. It's for you guys to understand um, what, what you're doing. So, okay, this is her IG. Let me... Um, Hey, Willie, thanks for joining us so hard. Let me actually put the actual link because she put, uh, let me actually put the actual link. Let's see if I can find her here. <clears throat> okay, cool. Yep. All right. Okay. Oh my goodness. She likes Blair. I love, look, I have all of the, uh, the DVDs. <laughs> yes, I love Crafty Girl. Oh, oh man. Oh man. <laughs> She's my type of girl. Look, I love Blair. Oh God. Blair yes. so oh my she's the villain look every time I always tell people I love the villain characters in tv shows and movies like even the dark knight I love the joker he was like this big villain um yes I just love the villains they make the show like I don't care about the heroes like bump that so I just <laughs> when you saw that I was like oh man yeah that's so cool so yeah and I love the way she dresses and everything yeah I have all the oh DVDs gosh, yes. yeah she's amazing so <laughs> and she's actually she's actually on look you guys I'm doing a side conversation she's on um that new show I haven't been watching tv because I'm on a fast right now but she's on mm -hmm. single parents so um Leighton Meester she got another gig I don't know if you watch it but yeah, she's on another. No. Um, oh, you're not. Oh, she's good no, on it. I, yeah, she's. No, mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't watch TV. Okay. <laughs> I don't watch. TV I don't blame you. I don't blame you either, sweetheart. I've I've been on a fast. I can't be watching TV like that either. I've been not listening, you know, to certain content. Just limiting my social media unless it has to do with artist hustle and just getting focused. So right. I appreciate you being on here, you guys. I put in her actual link. So go follow her. 
I think she was on our Instagram too. I think you were on both at one point. I think I remember seeing that name on both screens. So. Yes, I was. I Yay! <laughs> <laughs> then now she can say, "Hey, I talked to I talked to Debbie from Artist Hustle, and it was great." Yay! <laughs> yes, definitely. This is awesome. Thank you so much. Yes, yes. Have a good night. You guys go and support her. I really appreciate um, her kept coming on here. Um, I don't know if anybody else has any other questions. We're over two hours at this point. So I don't think anybody else has any other questions, but let me know. Um, and tomorrow night, I'm going to be on live as well. And I'm actually going to be talking about how to monetize really specifically how to monetize your Instagram, whether it's affiliate marketing, it's paid um, promotions. I want to show you guys my screen and we're going to go over it step by 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 step. I'm having a party by myself. Um. So yeah, so that's it, you guys. Let me know in the comments, was this helpful? Hey, everybody on Instagram. Oh, look at the hearts. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yo, you guys need to be, look, we did an Instagram. This is the last thing I'm going to say before I head off here because I'll be going on for four hours talking to y'all. Um, And that's not a bad thing, right? But I, I got other stuff I got to do. It's 1030 at night. There is an Instagram group that we started. Last Friday, I was on with Asher Simmons, and he was in, um, I think it was the Bahamas. And uh, I mentioned to him or somebody else, I couldn't remember who, and I said, yeah, you guys should be doing an Instagram um, group. So at this point, we have three Instagram engagement groups at this point. Like I was like, wow, I didn't expect the the, the, the um, request to just keep coming in, coming in, coming in. Now, I can't keep doing these Instagram groups, but I would definitely suggest you guys start your own or go and connect with people that like or, or on the live streams connect with each other please you guys because if you don't you're just watching my face you're getting hyped up and you're not doing you're not connecting with the same people that have the same mentality as you so please 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 um did you delete that YouTube live video? Heck yeah, I deleted that live video. Yo, I did this YouTube I, I did this YouTube live video. And it was a hot mess. And I said, no, I'm not keeping this video on YouTube. So some of y'all probably watched it. It's off now. I had to delete it. I was looking a mess. I was I was trying to work the stupid um the stupid studio thing on YouTube. And I was like, I was looking crazy. I was talking crazy. I didn't even know anybody was listening to me. Because y'all, I have a mouth. I have a real look. I'm a Sagittarius. If anybody knows what that means, we got, we're very blunt and we're very <laughs> cray cray with our mouths. So I had to, I was like, nah, I gotta, I gotta delete it. So yeah, I deleted it. I deleted it. And I know you said I should put it in my bloopers. Nah, not that video. <laughs> not that video. Maybe another one, but um, nah, not that video. So anyways, ladies, it's been a ladies night. So happy International Women's Day to every lady, every um, woman, sister, aunt, daughter. Thank you so much, you ladies. I'm dedicated to both um, ladies tonight, Sin and Kim. Thank you so much for joining. Hey, Jay, you missed the whole live. You got to rewatch it on um, Instagram or YouTube. So I'll see you guys tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Um, here on YouTube and also on Instagram. I really appreciate you guys. Have a good night. Have a good morning. Whatever time you guys watch this, um, make sure that you uh, make sure that you actually go to our VIP list. So let me go ahead and uh, drop that comment in. Wow, my finger hurts. Why does my finger hurt? It's like I've been I've been holding my phone for like two hours. Okay, let me go back and get this link. Okay, here it is. So you want to sign up for I Hustle Daily. Um, here it is. This is our VIP list. <laughs> Excuse me. VIP list. Um, for exclusive content, you guys. I don't. If you love this channel and you love what I'm doing, you need to get on the list. You gotta get on that list, okay? So I'm gonna head off here, you guys. I've been talking and talking and talking and talking, and I really need to rest my voice at this point. Uh, oh, this was more than helpful. Oh yes, thank you so much, Kim. I really, I'm excited for Kim. I'm excited for Sin. I'm excited 
for everybody that's been watching and that's gonna go and do something. I know this is a long video. Anybody that's re-watching these live videos, you like, wow, Debbie, Artist Hustle is like going longer and longer and longer, but the content is so amazing that only people that truly, you can either listen to this in the car, listen to this while you're working out or whatever, but yes, the content is getting longer. It's not five minute videos, but in the two hours, the one hour that we have these Q and A's and these videos, you're going to learn a lot. And I really appreciate everybody that's on here. Make sure that you subscribe and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody. Bye.